Idihoos. Yeah, welcome everyone. Oreos. We're, we're learning about uh, how toxic Ernie can be in competitive <laughs> video live? games. Oh, we're live now. You never tell us. <laughs> you didn't I tell literally, I literally said, "Hey, I he could did have say. had my shirt off, dude. You can't do <sighs> that to me." You remember how many times I asked, "Are we good? Are we okay? We're ready? Everything's good?" And then like everyone just says yes. It's like we're good. Okay. And then, you know, now we're here. Not that's like, saying, I'm gonna, host that's like saying I'm gonna do the countdown and then no countdown. Well, I don't do countdowns because I like the cold open. I don't do a lot of things. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't know oh, if that's good or not. Uh, I love how. And we're off. Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm Stella, and I will be taking over Runaway Robots channel now. Nice. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. You want to do the intro? What are we doing? Hey. Not you! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Suck it, Joel! <laughs> Typho presents Ruin, an original 5th edition D&D <laughs> cooperative campaign featuring three... God, I, I refuse to say heroic odysseys anymore to escape hell. Three parties <laughs> I, embark on unique journeys through the many layers of hell where their actions will lead to consequences for one another. Welcome to Team Auric. There are three ways our viewers can interact with this game. First, you can invoke fate by using exclamation point fate for various different effects. $2 for plus two to a roll, $5 for a reroll, $10 for a nat 20, $20 for a draw from the deck of many, and $69 to invoke chaos. Please be sure to identify the players you want to influence. Second, every 10 retweets will grant a nat 20 to a random player at the table. You can find the tweet linked in the chat now. Hey, I, thank you, Pudding Turd, I appreciate that. Third, Pudding hey, Turd! Turret! No, it's turret. Turret! Oh, I wish it was turret. That's why we the terrible group. You That's made why it sound we're like turd. I, sorry, I didn't pronounce it correctly. Third! Patrons may participate in various mini games within the Shard of Discord, central location of our campaign, which eventually we will arrive there, I swear. Mini games will affect world building, story setting, NPCs, and future events. Exclamation point Patreon in the chat for more information. We are handling our uh, November month of crises next Tuesday. So if you have any interest in rolling those die for that, you can join the Patreon and the various NPC characters that have been created there who are maintaining, hopefully, an interdimensional portal that we will eventually find. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. Any more <laughs> shit you want to throw at me, Cast? Is that are we good? Cast, it's just Stella. <laughs> okay, I'm lumping you all together because <laughs> no one else is helping me here, and I'm just, you're all just in this. I'm not here to help you. Yeah, that's factual. <laughs> I'm never here to help you. I'm just happy that you know Blurred got to finish his Dead by Daylight game roughly 30 <laughs> seconds before we went live, and I just need everyone to know that. The man is playing Dead by Daylight right before we go live. That's it. That's all you gotta I just, know. I was just trying to finish. <laughs> just trying to finish. <laughs> so something Joel terrible. also does not experience. God damn, dude! Wow! What dude. the fuck is happening here? I apologize for that accidental to. <laughs> I, <laughs> when you accidentally almost, set up the alley oop and, and you didn't mean Blurt, the best thing is, I don't even I don't know what's gonna be a tea up. I want to like <laughs> play on the side of like Joel's happy girlfriends and Stella's gonna be Joel's unhappy girlfriend. You know, <laughs> I all of this sucks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is you this the part of the anime know, where you have like- He finishes all the time and it's good actually. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow that's worse. I gotta go. Somehow that is worse than what I'm doing. L L L Leslie is done. <laughs> I need to take I walk. Worse I than food like... poisoning and I just felt even worse just based on this yeah. conversation. So like- oh. mm. you, you know what makes me feel good? The fact that we have had five cards already drawn that we'll have to be playing and also chaos it's already happened Are all of that has already happened in the first insane. five minutes of this show being turned on i don't i don't i should i don't need to pl i guess i just shouldn't Yo, plan Stella, anything keep dragon joel it's working it's working <laughs> yeah, right? I it's do. working <laughs> god oh god. this sucks anyways <laughs> This is gonna be a good show. Does anyone from my cast want to volunteer to do a recap of what happened last time and earn yourself that lovely nat 20 from our now 14 retweets on the go live tweet? Anyone? Anyone? 
Wow. Okay. I'll go. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I'll go ahead and try it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'll Hang on. What, is, what does your notebook say this time? Um. um uh huh. I, I remember there was something she wrote down that I was like, we're not going to remember this week. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I wrote I wrote a lot of things. I wrote Balra is the nicer of the flesh things. Um, <laughs> I wrote uh, 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 a, a bunch like of stuff about Thaddeus's or... memory. I said that I'm one step closer to divinity. Yeah, you remember mm -hmm. that? Oh wait, yeah, I remember. <laughs> you remember that you you uh, may have uh, you know de-aged a and little bit. I uh, wrote something that is. Uh, then labeled ammo against Drusay. But not oh, what, what the is. ammo is? Oh, I I wrote what the ammo oh, is, okay. but I'm not going to say oh, it right I, now. I just thought like your notes were just like, ammo against Drusay. It's like, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Nicely ammo. done. Oh, wow. Stuff. <laughs> okay. All right. Do you want to enlighten us to the drama that was uh, the real housewives of Ruin Oric? <laughs> Did you like that edit? Oh that was, God, oh, it was so great. Good. Yeah. It was very oh God, good. It was, so it was good. very good. Um, am I doing this in character or as, or as best? Generally, we do it in character, but if whatever you're more comfortable with. Oh, I'm comfortable being B. <laughs> All right. We wrapped up a battle. A battle that ended with the messenger coming up upon us. And then Thaddeus McCormick over here used a magic wish to go ahead and change the messenger, who turned into a dragon, by the way, change the messenger's uh, powers that be from the that which we are fighting to us. So now we have dominion or a friendship over this dragon. Well, that's all wise and good, but the dragon was half dissolved and took off like a cowardly bitch. Whilst Thaddeus, Thaddeus turned into a decaying piece of, of leather. I'd never seen anything like this before. All his skin turned black, ooze coming out his eyeballs, his nostrils. I saw the gums of his teeth with his mouth closed. It was real messed up. Whole thing, Drusay running out trying to battle by herself. We spun back time, made sure she didn't die. Unforgive, un unforgiven? No, she unthankful. That's what she's it. Unthankful. <laughs> <laughs> One of these we things. We loaded Thaddeus <laughs> into the back of that there uh, wagon and then trucked ourselves off into the woods to have a little campsite figure out what the next plan is. All the while, I'm losing my mind because my number one's done in. Drusay's over here trying to fix it, trying to feed him soup or some shit. You can't feed no man soup duck. when his tummy's falling out of his butthole. Absurd. <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> so we get into a ripping fight over his dying body, and I... I, I forget who told me to go off, but what, the Death Knight get mad? No, it, was, it was actually Thaddeus who said. I think it was Thaddeus who actually said, can you please leave me alone? Yeah, who told us to yeah, leave? I think it was Thaddeus, Thaddeus actually, because he woke up and he was like, He's like, hey, yeah, stop. <laughs> yeah, please. He woke up and he I'm was in just pain. like, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was actually Thaddeus. <laughs> Thaddeus told us to piss off, so we did opposite <laughs> sides of the woods. I'm punching trees. She's over there shooting fire into the sky i don't know and suddenly the whole lot of us get whisked away into thaddeus's past and we have an experience we have an experience experience in what he done experience leading up to his own death and you know what i never for a moment doubted him and then when we all came back we coalesced back at the campsite had ourselves a little conversation about his whole drama and Drusay's over here trying to get me to turn on my number one? Absolutely not. And then my number one, in an effort to prove that he is my number one, went ahead and gave me a special magic potion. Rolled the time back. I'm a hot missus now. I'm a rich 31-year-old. What do we decide on? 34 with money. 34 with money. 34 mm -hmm. with money. I, I look fantastic. I feel fantastic. The two of us are are literally fighting death on many levels. Uh, and so y'all can go ahead and fuck yourselves. 
Damn, B, okay. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of it all, Pan decided with his, oh, I forgot to tell y'all about how much I like red-eyed Pan. Green-eyed Pan came back though, and green-eyed Pan has an <laughs> affection for this here dragon I was talking about earlier. And he won't go get her on our side. She's off crying in the temple somewhere. <laughs> and you know, we might as well all stick together through this, so I acquiesced. Thaddeus is looking a little bit better. We decided we were gonna make friends with this dragon and put, go into the, the farmland off in lieu of a new friendship. Nailed it. Well done. Fantastic. Yes. We find ourselves uh, conveniently where it says current camp on our map uh, in the woods there, hidden, thankfully, from the various different patrols that are now out for your blood. Because, I don't know, you blew up some really vital stuff, changed the way that uh, death happens to work in this particular quarter of this plane of hell, and uh, then decided to kill some more things on your way out. It's been good. You've been busy. You've been really busy. Um, we've had a bit, a bit of a rest, a little bit of uh, some time to ourselves here in the uh, in the little forest area. And I believe right where we left off is uh, the agreement that we would go find out what is happening at that, that little lighthouse tower off the coast near the little town of Averon and see if we can't recover this topaz dragon also known as the messenger, who through some wishing powers and some cards have magically bound her to Pendulum at this point. I think we were resting, probably, probably resting. And you know what? We'll just go ahead and do our little chaos thing now because we might as well get it out of, out of the way, right? Oh boy. There's already one. Oh yeah, yeah, we have one and uh, like six cards, so six. Yeah, that's a. It's more than I'm ready to deal with. I'll be entirely honest about it. But hey, <laughs> it's fine. <clears throat> this one, however, is a little bit different than what we've been doing previously. This one, the rest of the party does not experience. Only one person does. While you were sleeping through the ever-present daytime, that is the Gadaran Expanse, we and our camera find Balra resting, oh, no. <laughs> sleeping. In the darkness of sleep, you float, wordlessly, soundlessly, a respite from years of fighting nightmares while you were alive. You worked long, late hours, staying as long as you could before you would collapse, before you would head home, exhausted. One night, as normal as a night as it could be, you were confronted by a hooded figure. Your peaceful sleep is interrupted once again as you see that hooded figure the end of a dark street. You remember asking them what they wanted. They never answered. And before you could even finish your sentence, the figure rushed you. <laughs> Their arms wrapped around you and something painful about that embrace. And a voice that was all too familiar to you from a lifetime of your mind being plagued. It's time. No. <laughs> a familiar voice, one comforting, that you've heard a couple of times since you died. I'm sorry, child. I held them back for as long as I could. But even I cannot fight chaos forever. A soft and familiar voice enters your brain while you sleep. It's been a while, girl. 
Have you forgotten me? Did you ever think I would allow you to forget me? You tried so hard to keep me away. But with that last embrace, I claimed you. And now, you are so close to me. I can taste your aether on the air. Old man death cannot have you. I claimed you at birth, as was my right. It is a shame your mother never told you. Maybe then you would have been more accepting, more willing. A shame. And so you shall be dragged into the void. The Eternal Abyss shall hold your soul for eternity. I am on my way, girl. R.N. always gets his due. Oh, no. And with that, you wake up. <laughs> She's like, I don't know if anybody else is awake, but Balra definitely is like, if she could physically run out of her sleep, she is doing so and setting up as fast as possible, panting, probably sweating, just, <sighs> no, okay. <sighs> the Death Knight is kneeling next to you. You've noted that he doesn't seem to need to sleep. He holds out a hand. Lady Balra, are you alright? Yeah, I, uh... I just, uh... I, I hope that was... I don't... Did you... Do you know... And she's gonna look around. Is, it, is everybody else asleep or awake? Um, uh, if you... Up to you. Would you... Do you want this to be a private moment? I I think for fear of having to explain who it would be she'd prefer just to ask the death knight sure. if he knows do you know who do you know who R N is I do not recognize the name but there are many I do not know Okay that's good that's comforting that at least it's not here or you haven't seen him um who are they i um they are a presence i always had assumed a demon who well at first, my my mother spoke of him all the time, but I had assumed that it was just nightmares or just terrors of every previous life that she had experienced. But um, when she passed, I, um, through carrying on her work, uh, processed her body as an allegiance to say goodbye. And in that, uh, Auron plagued me in my life. Like, I, I don't remember a night of sleep before where he wouldn't come to me. And this is the first night down here that, or night, she kind of quotes and looks at the sky as it's, you know. Yeah, it's still sun. day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the first time I've slept here where he's come. He said he's here. And I, I, I don't know why I ever doubted that he would be here, too. Hmm. I am not sure of who you speak, but... They will have to go through me first if they are to take you. <laughs> I wish I had had you in my previous life. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the next. Are you going She's to be okay? by this. Yeah, I think having somebody to talk to about it that's 
on this level of understanding is comforting enough to her because she hasn't really had anybody in her life to talk to about Arn before. Um, but Balra is going to nod and I think still a little shook and like not a voice she wanted to hear again. Um, but yeah, I think I'm okay for now. Perhaps Lord Death knows of the name. You mentioned, Arn mentioned Death that death, you know, even Lord Death couldn't save me from him, but I, d I don't, I mean, hmm. I don't know. Um, but, you know, maybe we, I don't know. Hopefully he's not on this plane. Maybe when he says here, he just means somewhere down here. I don't know. We will have to see. I will keep it in mind. I have some thoughts on what this creature might be, but let me consider them further. Okay. Thank you. Do you wish to rest more, or should I prepare breakfast? I, I feel rested enough, I think. Um, we should definitely... Um... And now I guess she'll look around, and if anybody is awake or asleep, yeah. she'll suggest having <clears throat> to wake them and get on the road. Sure. The, the rest of you here had a rather restful, if uneventful, evening. Um, though, some <laughs> of the events of the day before may be thick on your mind and in your dreams. Maybe rather specifically, both Thaddeus and Pendulum having experienced previous moments of their life and had pieces of that past in their hands for a moment, or still, in the case of Pendulum. You all rest. You all, if you haven't already, get the benefits of your long rest, your spell slots all the way back up, your <gasps> HP back to full. Um, my one caveat is Thaddeus McCormick, you are still exhausted. You have one, uh, one point of exhaustion against you. Okay. That and oh, we'll just go ahead and draw one of these first cards that uh, Stella drew today. <laughs> this is the balance card, Stella. In the way that we use the balance card in this game, it is your HP is at half. All of your spell slots are at half their maximum value. All of <laughs> your <laughs> all of what? your hit die, <laughs> you have half your total. Everything that you have is perfectly balanced. Wait. So at least you're not naked. <laughs> I would take that. True. I would take that. <laughs> Y'all didn't like my titties? Anyways, um, uh, you so, you, you uh, <laughs> so, wait, Joel, does that mean that my current hit points are half, or? Half your total maximum. Uh, okay. So what whatever that max value number? is, <laughs> you round down. Every time there's an odd, or anytime you, okay. you do halves, mm. unless specified by this, there, it's only really spells, you always round down in halves. Fuck you, first of all. I didn't buy the card. <laughs> you still need it, so fuck you. <laughs> all right, so then all my spell slots are also... So what if I have three? We round down. Is that down. one? Yep. Is that one? Yep. That sucks. You have sources Who gave, me? Who gave me a card? Uh, you got cards from Guidolin and Godfather. Or, sorry, uh, Adam Vargas and, and Godfather. All right, y'all are both on my fucking shit list. <laughs> <laughs> You've made a very dangerous enemy, let me tell you that. <laughs> Beth, you also have your, your nat 20 from the beginning and also a reroll now. So there you go. A you re have a reroll as well. Mm -hmm. And that can be used Neat. on any roll. Thank you. Thanks, guys. What a lovely, what a lovely experience. <laughs> 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 Poor Stella. Stella, you also have two <laughs> cards sitting in the bank, and so does uh, Leslie. So we're. Uh, oh, I have no. two. No, you I have two have more. One, right? Nope. Oh, you you mean from today? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Do yeah. I still I still have the one from last time, right? Uh, the one yes. That we talked about. Mm-hmm. 
We do. Okay, cool. Sorry, I, I just saw this little thingy where you can look at it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. See, even the long rest doesn't help because they just fucking have my shit, right? Yep. Pieces of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking play. Will she be able uh, to regain that on a rest? On, on a long rest. Okay. Or if you take a, like a short rest, you can spend remaining hit die to recover. But like... Yeah. So, Drissé, okay. you essentially wake up and don't feel as rested as you should. Yeah, I, I'm worse off than when I slept, so... Yeah, it's what hard happened? sleeping with dogs. They're bed hogs, yo. That's what the problem is. It's the dogs. <laughs> All the dogs? Wow. A uh, mm. question about our hit <laughs> die. Do we re get any back? You recover as of this half long the rest? total value. Cool, uh -huh. thanks. Oh, cool. But otherwise, you all rest somewhat successfully, I suppose. And, um, you know what, since we're already sitting on here, too, and so Leslie can think about it. Oh, no. Oh, God. You drew the, drew the Vizier card. I forgot what this One was. question, one truthful answer. To any, any subject. Any in-game subject, yes. Okay. So just... Hold that for a while. I, I got my nails done yesterday. Look how good they look. They Sorry. look so good. <laughs> they do look really good. <laughs> good to say good so showing earlier, off. but someone was talking about uh, Joel's sex history, so I didn't have a chance to slip it in. <laughs> and, oh, all of it is, of. and all of it is a means that you have to have sex. Oh, my God. Can we play Dungeons & Dragons, please? I don't know. Can I with 14 hit points? <laughs> Joel! Hey, you're, you're down here with me now. What's up? What's up? <laughs> 14 hit point close. So you wake up. Some of you rested. Some of you having had nightmares. And some of you maybe uh, a little less exhausted than you were. We find ourselves. She woke up feeling better than she's ever felt in her whole life. Yeah. You woke up <laughs> feeling 10 and years younger. everything. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you okay. want to do as uh, our death knight is making breakfast of out of what he can from uh, the rations you have and your uh, ample amounts of tea, which apparently we just have that. And scorched tiny animals. And scorched and tiny animals. Yeah, body. there's plenty of those. <laughs> there's plenty. We're reheating scorched tiny animals for sure. So what happens? Uh, during breakfast does anyone talk does anyone try and work out their issues from yesterday i think balra tries to check on i already apologized thaddeus. Mm -hmm. and thaddeus is supposed to go over like oh so i'm so sorry I'm so no sorry, no I no i don't think it needs to be verbal i'm just saying that she just does her medical checkup on him to see if he's doing any better today that's it oh <gasps> hey joel yes i'm gonna torch a bird Great. And I'm going to take the eggs out of the nest and make everyone scrambled eggs. Okay. You do that. Um, yeah. You have I'm a couple to. of little bird's eggs. Um, uh -huh. It amounts to roughly two eggs this size, so making a lot so of... then I'll just find more. Okay. Okay. I'm going to burn more birds. Roll me a survival check as you go about the woods burning more birds. I feel attacked. 19 <laughs> The morning songbirds eerily go silent as one by one a majority of them are torched their eggs snatched from nests and cooked to be a meal for our intrepid adventurers for my friends Do I have enough to feed the whole party now, Joel? Uh, or sure. Do I need to go on? Sure. <laughs> go on. Okay, good. Uh huh. <laughs> Not a single bird sings this morning. I mean, you only need four, so. <laughs> wow. Uh, I think... 14 hit points, okay? <laughs> the, the, the Death Knight kind of watches you go through this. Mm. Well, I wish all of those birds a. Safe return to the life of the living. 
Dr. Say snaps back and says, I'm providing for our party. Do you have something to say about I'm I'm feeding your lady Balra. Do you have something to say about that? Are you okay? No. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed and I'm cranky, but I am feeding my party. You don't eat, right? I and like do she's not. she's getting ready to torture another bird. <laughs> she he like raises a hand. I I do not. Okay. Then we have enough. <laughs> I think B looks at Thaddeus and goes, ah, ah, we gotta keep traveling with her today, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> As we do every day, miss. Alright. Did I hear something? <laughs> no, no. Very appreciative over here of all the eggs. You're the all right. Kind of myself, not a particular fan of birds. That scene from Jurassic saying. Park when she's eating the jello and it's just like shaking. <laughs> also, like eating her eggs. Just, mm, <laughs> that was so good. Mm. <laughs> Don't hurt <Yes>. me, please. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. I'll, I'll put some bird, cooked bird away in my bag for later. Okay. Yeah, you have plenty oh, and, and give, of them. And I give some. I give some to my doggies. Yeah, they're happy about it. They're dogs. They don't care where the bird has come yeah. from or how or why. And uh, <laughs> you know, they gnaw on some bird bones, crunching happily. My good boys. Y'all, I'm looking at this here map, and it seems like we got to go through Avaron to get to the uh, the Dragon's Lair. You want to go through a town, or should we circumvent it? Well, I mean, didn't didn't and this is directed at the death knight but didn't you say that maybe each of these towns has a like andre essentially mm. guiding nope just that one some... this oh, district okay. only had the one there are two more mm. districts on this plane of existence that have their own andres mm. okay so death knight can i ask you a question yes Bread battle hmm. functioned as a gateway into this here area, right? It what does. are the other town's hmm. functions? Hmm. The other towns here function in a resting point, a way stop for souls that have died. Some will remain here on this plane in this district. Others will move on to the other planes of hell. Or, should it be seen fit, the planes of heaven. Most you will find in this district are like those of bread battle. Not so as long awakened. As, we ah, as long as we stay away from Pelinor, we shouldn't run into too much trouble, eh? I expect not, but Truth be told, I have not spent much time here on this plane. How old are you, Death Knight? I'm sorry, Lady B. I... I do not remember how old. Were you born upon the moment that you sprung up out at Bara's head? Mm. No. I existed before my assignment to Lady Balra. Assignment, okay. All right. You're dismissed. <laughs> if I may, it may prove beneficial to go to Averon. Looking at this map, it seems that we have quite a bit of water to cross. And he looks about the group. I do not see much of a way for us to cross it without a boat. I look at Pen. Can you turn uh, into a boat? <laughs> uh, I am. I am a warforged. I'm. I'm not a transformer. Mm. The fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Roll out. All right. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I think I'm ready to head off to Avaron then. Sure. Mm -hmm. Is there any anything anyone else wants to do prior to leaving the campsite? Are we taking the wagon? Do we have the? You have the wagon we... and the two skeleton horses. Oh shit! We still got them. All mm -hmm. right. Um, I'm pro taking those. I'll I'll load up socks and Rufus in the back with uh, Thaddeus, and I'm ready to go. Yeah, Thaddeus, are you riding in the in the cart still? No, he would stubbornly try to walk. Okay. All right. I think uh, Balro will try to lead horses. I don't. I don't. Th a bee's not gonna let Thaddeus walk. <laughs> well, you get, you yeah. get your ass back in that. <laughs> <laughs> get your ass back up in there. I'll be fine, Miss Perennial. Balra, what? Uh, you, Thaddeus, shut your mouth. Balra, <laughs> you tell him you're a doctor. You, you probably should stay off your injuries. I mean, see I that? Can, I can't pick you up and make you though. But yeah, it's, I can. Oh my God, Kendra's sake! Oh, <laughs> B's gonna do it. <laughs> as oh much God, as yeah, I appreciate the concern, I did have an appointment to help out Mister Say with our combat tactics, and I figured we could do that on the way. Can't you do that just shouting at her from the back of the wagon? <laughs> that sounds a lot more tiring than just walking, miss. <sighs> you always were stubborn. All right. All right. So he'll straighten his jacket and... Yeah, and we... Do his best to catch up, would you say? We, uh, you know, douse the campfire, load the, the cart with dogs... And begin to head our way to Averon. Uh, in our way of, of getting there, are are we going through these, you know, kind of smaller uh, fields and things here? Or are you trying to cut around to the roads again? Um, I want to keep the lowest profile... Yeah, I think if we got we to a point where we had to choose the road or not, I think Balra would ask Party, like, based on what we saw in the last road that got us, you know, the car, the horses, should we stay off the road? I think so. Okay. All okay. Right, um, I might need somebody to scout a little bit ahead of me as we go through this uh, farmland for anybody, but... I vote Pendulum. I also vote Pendulum. I would be most pleased to assist in this matter. Okay. Um, Might Pen I suggest, Mr. Yeah. Pendulum, that you be a little more conspicuous this time? <laughs> <laughs> ah, That's yes. Me. I have been practicing. <laughs> I've been practicing standing perfectly still. It's something that I do all the time when we're at camp, but it's... Sometimes I find it difficult to do uh, under duress. Here, here's some sticks. Just hold those in front of you. No one will know the <laughs> difference between you and a tree this way. <laughs> oh, my God. He's going to put the sticks in his bag, and he's, he's going, I will take this to heart. I will try it next time. Good. <laughs> and I think B climbs back up into... <laughs> the wagon yeah because she's not she ain't walking so like Balra, are, are you driving the the cart like from the the driver's seat excellent mm -hmm. as as we get rolling uh, a light drizzle begins it's the first instance of weather other than sun that has been experienced in this particular huh. area so is the sun in the same spot still it is all right oh it's still raining i mean it's still sunny with rain uh, so you have the cloud cover, but the sun is still in the same spot. So like when the clouds oh, part okay. in that certain location, <laughs> you can kind of see where that is. Um, but it does begin to to drizzle, to rain a bit. Just say it's clearly even grumpier. It like sizzles on you as you do oh my this. God. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm. You do, yeah. You know that like anime little like dark cloud. It's literally like a dark cloud above our head. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as we proceed outwards here, we'll we'll start with Pendel. Pendulum, you are scouting ahead. You mm -hmm. come to the edge of the forest location. Um, I'm assuming you're attempting to be as stealthy as possible here, so I need you to roll two things for me. Oh, God. Stealth check Ooh. for surreptitiousness 
and okay. a perception check for your scouting. Okay. Uh, Pendulum is going to pull the uh, the sticks and twigs that he that, that <laughs> B handed him earlier, mm -hmm. and he's going to kind of like he he's going to like literally. Uh, actually, because <laughs> I'm smart, he's going to use these sticks and he's just going to kind of, instead of holding them in front of himself, he's going to, he's going to place them, kind of like stick them into the, like the cracks and crevices, uh, in his armor. Oh. And, uh, he is also going to... Uh, cause I believe this may or may not be yes. like a camouflage crab. <laughs> I'm gonna activate my infiltrator armor. Yeah, there you go. You customize your armor for subtle <laughs> undertakings. <laughs> yes, and you now have your lightning launcher, which is a, a whole thing. Yeah, that's a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you have advantage on your stealth slash dexterity checks here. Uh, if the armor normally does impose a disadvantage on such checks. The advantage and disadvantage will cancel each other out. So for this, I believe you just get the advantage, right? Based yes. on what armor you have. Yes. So you have prepared your infiltrator cool. armor. Um, I believe you had done that prior to resting anyways, because it does take a little bit okay, more yeah. time to do. But it was in ah, preparation yes. because of the last stealth thing that we did. You were like, <laughs> I need to change this. I need to. Uh, this needs to be need different. To I need to be better. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to roll my two and there. Oh, it says you have heavy okay. armor on. So wait, what what armor are you wearing? Uh, I am. Oh, actually, you know what? I've said. So that is a armor am I five, sir. Oh, Jesus. Wait, what armor am I? I thought I was wearing. I thought you were wearing something like leather, but were you wearing like chain? Yeah, actually, no. That's a lie. That's a lie. <gasps> I forgot. You I am would lie? <laughs> Unbelievable! I think I'm wearing scale mail. You're wearing scale mail, yeah. All I'm right. wearing scale mail, so yeah. It basically just it just made it a flat, no disadvantage. So it just correct, kinda, yeah, it canceled out. So yeah, I did not hide very well. At no, all. and I think it's because it's <laughs> drizzling, and instead of you being able to be quiet, the armor itself helps you dampen your steps, but it cannot dampen the tink 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 of rain <laughs> on your armor. This is this is why people wear ponchos. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as you but approach yes. the edge of the forest here, go ahead and and roll me your perception check as you kind of scout ahead here. Seventeen, mm -hmm. nice, very nicely done. Okay, uh, you scout forward. Uh, let's say that the cart and your friends, roughly sixty-ish feet behind you, as they wait upon your report for you to continue your scouting mission. You do see that there is one farmhouse ahead, a couple of fields, and um quite a bit of ground between you mm -hmm. and Averon to kind of work your way through. It's a combination of things out here in the fields. You do know that there is an orchard to the north, not necessarily sure what kind of trees it might mm -hmm. have, but these fields here do seem to have grapes. It seems to be a vineyard of some kind next to the house in front of you. Hmm. As okay. you do your scouting, we come back to Thaddeus McCormick, trying to keep up the best that he can while having a conversation with Drissay about battlefield tactics. Thaddeus, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Drissay. Now, as we discussed last time, um, this is not a admonishment of your capabilities. I'm simply trying to enhance what you can already do. With that said, I did notice one mistake that was made in the last combat where you rushed off alone ahead of the rest of the group. It was rather heroic of you, but it did result in some rather bad situations. Might I recommend sticking more close by to either Miss B or Pendulum and use them as cover while you blast our enemies to bits? <laughs> you want me to use the woman that you're protecting as cover? She is quite capable of protecting herself. That's fair, that's fair. I did see her grow twice her size uh, in that battle, I believe. <laughs> that is correct. That is one of our fun little uh, Paula tricks we like to do. What other, th other things do you guys like to do? Uh, 
don't like to reveal my cards until the end of the hand, so you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Go I'm on. Sure you have a lot of. I'm sure you have a lot of tricks up your sleeves. What with those good hands and all. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, of course. Yes. Um, uh, anyway, uh, perhaps also <laughs> working on the volume of your voice before combat. What's wrong with the tone? <laughs> she gets loud. Just say gets a little louder. <laughs> what do you mean the volume of my voice? Exactly. Thank you for demonstrating. <laughs> you know, see, we have that gentleman up there trying to be quiet to watch out for us. However, you may have just alerted someone with that raised voice. It is quite potent. And I am sure it could be used rather successfully in intimidation tactics. However, we are trying to lay low. Just say just huffs. <laughs> now, do not do not take this as you have to do what I say. I am not your keeper. They are simply friendly suggestions for the benefit of all. Take them or leave them, but they will be yours should you, should you want more. I appreciate it. I... I'm sorry, I just slept very, very poorly, and I know you're not feeling well either, so I, I, I apologize for my lack of patience. Um, but I, I am very used to doing these things alone, and I'm very used to not have fighting lesser opponents, and it seems that we are up against uh, some weird forces. So I, I will take any uh, advice that you give me and try to listen to it. But um, it, it is also just fun to go in blazing, you know? I do understand, yes. I have had my, uh, we'll call them, vices here and there at times to indulge that. And Trisse just awkwardly, because she's like so tired. She's just like, do you want a bird? <laughs> like offers a yeah, like bird. a torched bird. <laughs> it's cooked. It's barbecued. Right. I don't know how else to like. But I, we did, I appreciate. We didn't I like defeather this. it or anything. It's just been torched. So okay, she'll, she'll, she'll like rip the feathers off and like give it to him and be like, I, I, <laughs> "This is. I appreciate you. I don't. I'm not good at this." <laughs> you are much better than you think, and he'll graciously take the offering. Do you want? Well. Eat it. <laughs> he's he's, he's kind of hungry. He's just trying not to show it. <laughs> well, if you, uh, at least I'm I'm I, I'm good at shooting those birds out of the sky. So if you ever want more, let me know. And Trissy's just like clearly very uncomfortable because she's not good at like expressing gratitude and stuff. So also, it's raining. Mm -hmm. Sizzle, sizzle, Which, sizzle, yeah. sizzle. Putting out a bit of her spark, right? Mm -hmm. Like a constant <laughs> cloud of steam around. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm probably not very like hidden mm. because it's just a walking oh, just thing steam. of steam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's okay. While you're in the trees, we aren't super worried about it. But as we begin to exit them, it may become a little bit more concerning. Balra and B. B, lounging in the back of a now kind of wet cart. Do you and Balra speak of anything while you ride in the, the back there? As Balra drives the carriage. Huh. Balra would let B make the conversation. <laughs> God, here we go. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! <laughs> Holy shit! Just don't call oh, me ballroom this time. You know what? You know what? Wow. <laughs> hey, Balra. Mm, yeah, yeah, yes. I think Bee's kind of, she's got like a piece of grass in her mouth that she's staring <laughs> off into the. She's, she's acting Grace like guys. as much country as she knows how to be sitting in the back of a cart. I've seen this in Leaning a book somewhere. <laughs> she's on vacation. Yeah. I don't think I really said it 
yesterday, but uh, I, I want to thank you for looking after Thaddeus. Oh, I, I um. Was... No, uh, what were you gonna say? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Like, flinch. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, I was sort of out of my mind yesterday with worry there, and uh, I don't have. I don't have much experience healing people, right? So I, uh, if it wasn't for you, I, I think it would have been worse. You would have been worse off. So thank you. Well, I mean, um, I, I don't, I don't know how this whole, and she'll kind of like motion at the entire existence of what we're in. I don't know how this whole thing will turn out. But, um, as, pardon me for saying, awkward as it's been for me, um, I do what say about that this I've been awkward. I, I just, I'm very used to, um, not as many people, uh, but it's been rewarding, um, and, and life-saving quite a few times for me too. So, um, I, uh can only do my best to get us safely through all of this as possible uh, for what death allows me to do my work. Um, so, you're welcome. You know, that's all I was really looking for was that you're welcome thing, but uh... Okay. You do you, <laughs> Bara. She's like, okay. <laughs> as you Poetic have... Poetic dark woman. <clears throat> As you have this conversation, Balra, Ooh. you maybe feel around checking your belt for all of your belongings and mm. your weapons. You find that something is missing. As I adjust this so chat can see. Your scalpel is gone. Oh, no. You've drawn the Talon card. One of your magic items disappears, and in this case, for specific reasons, it's the scalpel. My mom gave me that. Oh, no. I think you'll, uh, the cart will, like, slow, and she'll kind of put the reins down and dig through her bag and... You don't... But you don't happen to see my, my scalpel back there, do you? Keep it moving, Vara! No, no, I can't. I That's the only thing I have of hers anymore. And she's, like, digging through all of her items. Um, you don't you don't see it, do you? I'm so sorry. Do you mind, do you mind lifting your very you... beautiful and wonderful cape? Um, my, oh, uh, sure. <laughs> 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 and I do. What are we, wait, and, what were you looking for? Do you, do you remember my 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 scalpel, my little my little knife? Uh, I only used it like once, I guess, around you guys. But it's... then, no, I don't remember your little knife you used one time around me. Uh, oh God! Is it special? Gone. It was my mom's. Oh no! I... Oh, B doesn't know what to do. Shoot! Can we? The cart somewhat like kind of slows to a stop here. Maybe like Thaddeus and Drusay who have been walking behind, you know. Get really close to it here. The 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 night of death comes up. Lady Balra, why have we stopped? I I've lost something really important to me, and I don't know if I left it at where we were before, or if I dropped it in the fight. And she starts like kind of welling up yeah. and crying, and she, I, I don't know where it is. I I had it. I, I I think I had it, but I don't know. In the middle of everything, if I just dropped it, I don't I don't know what to do. I. The, the Death Knight oh, she, puts she's... a hand on your shoulder here. A moment. I will go back and look for it. You may proceed. Don't worry, I will catch up. But I will check okay. the camp. It's And she's like, it's like a scalpel, you know, it's skinny, it's got a blade, it's got an engraving on it. It's, I know of it. it. Okay. It will How be do okay. you know of it? I saw her use it. Dang, he's got a good memory. <laughs> okay. 
I can return with more haste if you allow me one of the horses. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think one can pull me in and be just fine. Yeah, and he'll he'll set about like extricating the horse from the cart here, saddling it, and he will, with a nod, take off back from where you've come from. We're now pretty effectively out in the fields here. Um, fortunately, Penn, you've not been spotted by any ne'er do wells or really anyone. And keeping watch, <laughs> it doesn't look like there's much of anything going on out here. In the distance, though, your perception check allowing you this, there are people working those vineyards out in the field. Various different heights, and races, and clothing, but none of them seem to notice that you're here. Hmm. Like, hmm. Like look, like looking at the way that they're they're carrying on with you know whatever tasks they're doing out in these fields. Does it give me any? Does it, does it remind? Would it remind me anything of like the things we saw in Bread Battle? Uh. Ooh. The things that we saw in Breadbell being people just going about just their business. Just how oblivious everyone. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Seemed uh, let's be. make a let's yeah. make a specific insight check for okay. the people going about like their tasks, right? Let's have some right. insight on what they're doing. Oh, I that's don't a see now one. Thing. I think they might be a little bit too far from here, right? <laughs> they're working in the fields here, but like you're like ah ooh. What gave it away in Breadbell was like their kind of glassy expression, right? And like mm -hmm. from here much too far and they seem rather okay. ensconced in their work you're not you know you're not seeing much beyond that right now mm. okay but it is something to, to note i guess if you you know make a return back to the cart and mm. give a report and you know continue on your way um am i close enough to uh you know look at you know these uh like this vineyard that that they're uh, the vines themselves get a better idea of what it is yeah absolutely you can kind of like hop off this you know trail that you're creating right that you're you're scouting mm -hmm. ahead for your friends you know hop off maybe 30 40 feet to the side here and take a look at them absolutely okay i guess uh what i need to do uh investigation or um, just, yeah so this uh, would be investigation or nature Ooh. Mm -hmm. i'll do nature let's see what happens wow that is two back to back. Oh my god! Yikes. <laughs> um, so these are great. That's another now one uh, pen. I, I I think what you gather is like you look at it and it's like, yep, that's a grape, and you squish it, and it doesn't like it's not black on the inside like the apples. It doesn't mm -hmm. have a tiny little corn baby face inside of it or anything like that. Ugh. But it it squishes and kind of dyes the metallic portions of your fingers purple. Much like a grape would. Hmm. Okay. I'm like, just see it as far as I'm concerned. Walks like a duck, quacks like a duck. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, and I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna keep going on along. Uh, yeah. just, I'm gonna, you know, I guess, stroll through this area. No one really seems to be paying any actual attention. I'm just going to kind of keep going and just see what happens. <laughs> okay, absolutely. Proceeding forward, are you are still attempting to be a bit more stealthy? We're moving into, like, another portion of the, the, the trail here if you want to try and... I will give it the old college try Love that and hopefully not get a nat one again. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah, just just regular failure. Tink, tink, regular tink, old tink, tink, failure. Tink, 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 tink. <laughs> yeah, it's just loud. Uh, you're you're as you know as surreptitious as you can be amongst you know these things and trying to lead a cart. Obviously, the cart <laughs> itself is hard to hide. It literally has a skeleton horse pulling it along, and people <laughs> around it. One of them on fire, a literal beacon in the darkness of t the day with the rain. Um, you're doing the best that you can. As you, Pen, pass the house, you can see that there are people there working. Some are hmm. working with the grapes, mashing them, um, either turning them into some sort of juice or wine, and some of them seem to be doing a canning process as well. 
Do we feel hunger? You ate this morning. Um, yeah, remember the scrambled eggs? But you have but not I... felt the natural twangs of hunger. It's been like kind of habitual eating mm -hmm. versus, oh, I'm hungry. It's one of those eat. that we do this, so we've done this. But you've not okay. felt hungry or thirsty. So that also means that we don't like use the restroom or anything. Unless out of habit. <laughs> we all just... <laughs> Look, I had to ask. No I had to ask. Three so like, days? You realize it's like, it's been like, well, that's the thing. Time uh. hasn't passed, right? Mm. <laughs> Whatever that solar thing is in the sky hasn't moved in the no hours upon hours that you... No pooping. The only, the only time that everybody doesn't poop uh, is when you're dead. So, makes sense, right? So then how do they fertilize the field? How do they? Wait... <laughs> Don't do not do that. Don't do the how do they. <laughs> Poopity scoop. Don't. The DM has enough questions to answer. You, <laughs> I just wanted to know. Do they need some fertilizer? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, yeah. I mean, you haven't felt the, the like, natural uh, urgencies of any of those things. Hmm. I guess we just keep trucking along, huh? Yeah. Uh, Pen is... They, yes. They don't... Like, a couple of them from the house itself, you being closer to it now, do notice you. Like, they look up, note you're passing, but no one makes any moves towards you. Mm -hmm. Do you choose like, to continue they, going... Do they stare, or do they just go back to what they're doing? Uh, a couple of them will go back to what they're doing some of them. There's probably about five or six at this particular house. And maybe like three of them maintain, like, looking at you. You're a little hmm. closer now, too, if you want to try that insight again. Yeah, I will... Let's try that. Double fourteens. Cut. I, you know what's great? That YouTube will never, ever see Twitch chat right now, uh, because it <laughs> is something else. Um, sin, <laughs> sin. <laughs> Jesus, uh, Pen. At a at a fourteen here, you note that it looks like most all of these here have that kind of similar glassy look that Bread Battle did. Mm -hmm. Um, they don't have the awareness specifically like the Walstoria farm in Orchard did. It seems a little different. This okay. might not be one of those locations that anything nefarious is happening. Okay. All right. Um, just for my own personal, um, I'm going to, I, I, who, any one of them that may still be looking in my direction, um, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to kind of, you know, <laughs> wave back at them. <laughs> In a in a in a jovial in a jovial fashion, and uh, about face, and just uh, keep on. Uh, I'm gonna do like an exaggerated march away. An exaggerated <laughs> march. Well, well, the tinking of the rain on your armor. Yeah. 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 Um, you move away, and they kind of you know they stop, uh, staring at you as you go, but as the cart begins to trundle past one of them does look up a man um, long curly brown hair tied back who's mashing some grapes in a ton with their feet stomping on them juicing them out um, looks up and sees you in the cart B and ball run raises his hands hello there kind of joyfully cheerfully is maybe not expected. He doesn't move out away from it, from what he's doing. He continues to stomp. The juice is splashing up his purple stained feet there. And he yells out again, Where are you headed? Oh, the peasantry. <laughs> and I just, I, I wave like oh my Princess God. Diana. <clears throat> oh, I, I, hello. Hello! 
What are you making over like... there? Oh, we're making wine. Do you have any samples? And he like Christine, stops. Don't talk to him. He stops. He goes, of course we have samples. And he gets up like out of the, the ton and oh. splashes down into the like the mud. You know, oh, clearly no. he's going to like oh. go back into that without cleaning anything. And he's going to make off into the house and comes back out with two green glass bottles. They're corked stoppered up and he comes out and says oh, we have some extra from our last shipment we took him on over to the sour tower pub how was that I'll, the best name that oh, they could give come him a chicken. up with I'll give, give him, him a I'm chicken not, I'm not talking to him by okay. the way <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take the bottles and give him a chicken in, in he goes, oh thank you and he doesn't even look at it and the more you look at him the more you note that like he has that similar glassy-eyed look to the people of Bread Bethel. He's not fully aware. He's just going through the motions of maybe something that he would have done in life. But you now have two bottles of some kind of wine. I'll put it in my bag. Oh, just thank you. <laughs> Right, have a wonderful day! And, like, the rain's just, like, splashing down all around, and, like, he gets his back up into the, like, the Ugh. wooden ton with muddy feet and just starts stomping away again. Oh, guy. Well, at least we got the clean models. Our camera, like, zooms in on the green glass, and you can see, like, pieces of dirt swirling around inside of it. Would <laughs> <laughs> you? <laughs> I He's kid. The it was funny. He has one thing, it was Joel. funny. Joel. You had to give her the two buck chuck, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, hey, you know what? Two buck chuck does at a pinch, all right? I am. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we continue on in the rain. The <clears throat> night of death not having yet returned. Having stayed off the road as you are, it looks like... You haven't run into any patrols of any kind. And eventually, an hour or so passes, and we arrive in this small town called Averon. It's quiet. I hate to say too quiet, but it does feel that way. Like, we talk in, like, as quiet as, like, the town right before the OK Corral shootout, or like we're just... talking about there being people here, right? There are milling mm -hmm. about. There's this plaza, an open air market here where these stalls are set up, and it looks like farmers and more specifically fishermen are selling their wares and their produce. But it definitely has seen better days. Many of the available stalls are run down, and most lack any form of tenants. But it's quiet. Question. None of them are Question. calling out to anyone. Yeah, what's up? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I thought you were done. It's okay. Um, I don't suppose it looks like anyone here is going to have any sort of expertise with alchemy or magic. In this town? I mean, upon immediately walking in, it doesn't look like anyone with a pointy hat with a bunch of stars on it has, like, appeared in front of you that might have, you know, some proficiency with magic. Right. No healers or shamans or anything like that. Doesn't look like that kind of culture. Uh, no, it looks like if any of you in your life had visited one, just a, a small fishing town. Okay. Any metalsmiths? Okay, so like looking about the place here, walking through the plaza itself, um, there are a couple of locations. Some of them do have some signs. Uh, there's the harbor. Lawnfall Landing, in an inn of the same name up over here. It seems as well that it might serve as the Harbor Master's office. There is a place called Ye Old Shark. It's a smaller pub and says it has bait for sale there as well. And you see people moving in and out of it, some with drinks and others with clearly buckets of fishing bait. There are some modest houses on the southern end of town and on the eastern side. A community hall that seems to double as some kind of schoolhouse. And a blacksmith. 
But the forge is out. And no one is there. Damn it. Question. Uh, I want to make sure I got the right... I'm looking at the right proficiency. Okay. Um, I technically uh, have a proficiency in smithing. You do. Would... Uh, if, for whatever reason, if time permits, because we have other more pressing business, uh -huh. if we were able to get back to this area... Uh, Would you want to refire the forge? Yes. You Would I be able that. to? I can help. Absolutely. I mean, I can provide the fire. This is also true. But yes, you have proficient, and it looks like, as you like walk past it, it has all of the tools. Everything looks to be in working order, if just mm -hmm. unused. I think B jumps down off of the wagon uh, and goes and steps in front of that forge. Mm -hmm. And crosses her arms and looks at it, waiting for somebody to come and... Uh, Take her money. Yeah, there's <laughs> no movement. The small attached house next to it. No one comes out. Just dark, quiet. Is there a bell? Like, do they have like a... Oh, like yeah, a... there's like a bell over one of the, you know, outside or something. Sure. You pull it. Just gonna pull ding, it. Ding, 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 <laughs> ding. And you wait. No one comes out. Hey, Pan. Yes. Laura's back there crying in the wagon. <laughs> she done lost her tiny knife. Her scalpel. I was thinking a scalpel, right. I was thinking I could go ahead and purchase something new for her. But, uh, doesn't seem like anybody's here to help out. And, uh, does, uh, Penn's gonna kind of cock his head to the side and suddenly he's gonna have this amazing idea. And, uh, Penn's gonna start kind of, he's gonna just start helping himself to looking around the place. Uh, <laughs> and he's gonna look at B and say, uh, it's, hmm, maybe I could make something. Oh, that's right. That's your speciality, isn't it? Mm, it's one of them. I can do leatherworking. I can do jeweling. Uh, I'm also pretty good at wood carving. Well, all I need is a scalpel. Hmm. Let's see if we can start with that. That would be within my abilities. All right, how many gemstones do you need? Well, I believe if we are making this uh, an implement of some sort, it seems to be of the medical variety. Um, I would just need time. Uh, I got plenty of that, I suppose. <laughs> would you like me to... Uh, make it a bejeweled scalpel. I would absolutely like you to make it a bejeweled scalpel. I'm thinking her favorite color is black. What oh. gave that away? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had mused just the same thing, not but maybe 24 hours ago. Do you mind taking a little moment to do this before we go across that there water and the rest of us will figure out how to do the boat that will give me time I believe oh you, you know what I stay here help you I'll leave you all alone <laughs> I'll be right back and I'm gonna wander back to the wagon sure yeah I imagine baller has been like trying to f awkwardly figure out somewhere to Park to park the wagon, off. She's yeah. Like, <laughs> you can't do street oh my god, parallel parking. parking. <laughs> He's trying to. <laughs> She's reading the signs for street sweeping. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh my god, it's like LA parking. All the way forward to the <laughs> <other> part, <laughs> and then. <laughs> as you do, as you're like trying to find it, you do know that there are, you know, some children here in this town, mm. and some of them have like come up to your skeleton horse, and are like making to pet it 
and they look out and horsey horsey and they like you know start to pet the horse they don't seem to know that it's made of bones or seem to care hmm um is there like are we kind of close to a market i mean are we next to it yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I know you said you there's like this open air market opening. kind of like mm -hmm. right here in the beginning. Um, so there you there's probably like a little pull off that you could utilize that's next to, you know, like the, the, the smithy over here or something yeah. like that. I think yeah. kind of in this moment, like Ball is a little devastated and also super scared at the moment that the Death Knight is, hasn't returned quite yet. So in this moment of kind of reprieve seeing these kids actually show genuine like joy and happiness in this uh she's gonna kind of park next to um park next to a like small food tent and buy like an apple or carrot or two and give it to these kids to feed them. yeah you you approach like in this marketplace the rather meager offerings of this open air market and you go to purchase some of these things. There's a woman sitting in the stall, and she has that glassy-eyed look. And when you approach, she is all smiles. And, you know, the, the payment of these things is, like, less than a copper. They don't ask for, rather specifically, they ask for the money that you would have used when you were living. They don't ask for those strange coins that you had picked mm. up previously. Mm. Okay. Um, in the... Wasn't there a bag of coins that we obtained? Mm -hmm. um, would those be the same face coins or? Are those they... are all face coins. Okay. Um, Baller is going to try to exchange that for it, uh, like, like one of the face coins for because I don't. She doesn't really have. I don't. I don't assume that we brought or have money with us of the same. <laughs> sure. There it like, is. <laughs> Can I look into your bag of gems? <coughs> yes, I suppose you can. I'm just like saying this loud enough that I think Balra can hear. Sure. And I'm rummaging around in the bag to specifically find just black ones to pull out. Uh, <laughs> and while I'm over there, I'm gonna go ahead and hang out with Pan- Hang out? That's not something she'd say. I'm about to go- uh, spend some time with Pen over at that forge. Y'all, we gotta figure out how to get a boat to go across the moat there and get to the tower, so uh, I assign that to the two U's and let Balra go cry in the wagon. The two U's. Thank you! Okay. Did I do it wrong, Joel? No, two U's. It was, it was just a, yeah, yeah, it's a, a reference from an old movie. A old movie. <laughs> What's a ute? What's a ute? The two utes. They actually used that as teaching material in my college. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, for court procedure. That's it's extremely accurate. Um, yeah, so you, you gonna gotta go. Just got to toss them in the out. air and grab them and turn around with the cape and walk back. Yeah, the cape flutters outwards, tossing off some, some water from the drizzle. Hmm. Uh, On to just say. Yeah. Uh, so, Balra, when you try to not, exchange... Not on purpose. <laughs> when you try to exchange one of these silvered coins, she looks at... Oh, my lady, this is far too much. This is a rather large silver piece. These are only a couple of copper. Um, well... I... We'll be in town. She's, like, trying to come up with anything. But just some excuse about why. Um, but we'll come we'll come back. So, if, if I see you when we come back through, maybe I can offer something or we could trade again based on the value is that okay she kind of like bobs up and down of course my lady of course Th thank you though and she'll like take her little handful of apples and a carrot yeah and just give it to the kids to give to the horse <laughs> which mm. the horse is a skeleton yeah um and they like proffer these foods to the horse and it chomps on them out of just reaction, and then it just falls to the ground after being chomped on because there's nowhere for it to go. The kids don't seem to notice this. And mm. their glassy-eyed, you know, existence being here in the afterlife, they don't know. They don't see it. And they um, giggle happily at this horse that is eating from their hands. 
I imagine, because we did a lot of investigation in the previous town of Red Battle about the like glassy-eyed kind of soulless feeling expression of these people, or at least just operationally functioning and no more cognitive than that, like whatever these people. Uh, being so close to these kids and this woman, Balra, I assume, would have gotten the same impression. Like, it's, yeah, it's, like, it's, it's I, evident. I mean, from yeah. your experience in Bread Battle, most of you can pick it up pretty easily. Once you get close enough to them, it, yeah, yeah, they they're just not all there. When they look at you, they look past you. They don't yeah. really see you there. Balra is basically, I don't, I don't know. I mean, she would be so forlorn over that knife being gone, and I think at this moment she's just like. These poor souls in this afterlife, like, here, just have this, have this thing. Especially these kids are so young, like. Yeah. And just we'll start, like, maybe digging around in the cart, hopefully to see if she can find that knife again. Maybe it's fallen beneath the bench or something. Roll me an investigation check. Yeah. Might as well, right? Might as well. She's, she's proficient in it. <laughs> 14. <laughs> Try as you might, looks. you <laughs> can't find it. Yeah. Unfortunately. Um, I think it, once she's just kind of turned the card over and then probably organized everything back to where it kind of was, she would go and try to find like Trisse or Thaddeus or whatnot. Sure. Kind of we, uh, we had to be perennial and pendulum first at the forge. Be returning with some gems in tow. Um, how are we planning to refire the forge here? Oh, yeah. That is a thing we need to do. Um, uh, <clears throat> mm -hmm. the literal being of fire standing next mm -hmm. to you. I'm, yeah, I was gonna say that, that's a, that was something that, yeah, that's something mm -hmm. we were going to do. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm actually just gonna ask, I'm, 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 I'm actually gonna ask, uh, Drissé if, if uh, she would help us. I, I'm just happy to get out of the rain, so I walk yeah, over. you, like, stand under the roof, like, next to the <laughs> yeah, forge, yeah. like, oh, finally. <laughs> yeah. Like, shake off. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> produce a fireball in my hand, and... <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Uh, and you... <laughs> and yeah, okay. The forge seems to be going it does seem to have some fuel from somewhere pen you you would be able to figure out like okay fuel comes from here this is how we're going to fire the coals this is how we can make all this stuff with your proficiency and being able to do these things you just needed the the spark there mm -hmm. um wait I'll, I'll i'll look back at thaddeus and go oops that was a little too loud because <laughs> he was trying to tell me to be quiet <laughs> be like was that okay i did not notice anything Okay. Pen, roll me an Arcana check. Ooh. Okay. Bam, I can do. I got a 12. Deep in your memory, you mm -hmm. remember your old friend bringing over occasionally mages to assist on creating various different portions of work imbuing them with magical ability. You get the feeling that if you had other magical assistance from Drissé that is not just firing the forge, you might be able to make a product imbued with magical properties. <laughs> um, I'm going to... Uh, uh, Assuming Drissé is uh, still there, I'm going to uh, I'm going to kind of walk over and gesture for her to follow along with me. Fo fo follow along with me. I believe I believe we can make something exceptional. Like what? Hmm. Well, we have access now to a lit forge. We can craft. Well. So long as there are materials to do so, we could probably craft most whatever we may need. But more importantly, we might be able, if we, you and I, work together, I believe 
we could create something magical. Beast just standing there listening to this. Like holding gems, gems in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> like, he didn't say this shit to me. <laughs> <laughs> what? what, what I, okay. Just say, just, what do you need from me? Hmm. That is a good question. You are not like the others. You are. You are a, a, a humanoid, but a special kind. I think that the two of us working together, maybe, maybe some of your natural abilities, maybe those will help come into play. Hmm. Well, I'm intrigued. I will help out however you think is best. Awesome. I guess I'll leave. <laughs> And Beep, I put the you gems don't have on to the leave. I, <laughs> I think this could be an excellent team building experience. Oh. <laughs> Everyone here can fulfill a role just like a team, just like what we are. I'm going to look at Drissé with unsure eyes. Drissé shrugs. <laughs> she, and she she whispers to to B. I I don't know what he wants, but he well, sounds it like sounds, he knows what he's it talking sounds about. like he wants you. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> he's a robot. I don't. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> That those th <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. <clears throat> yes, yep. yes, 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 yes. Um <laughs> Do I know um uh do I know about roughly how long it would take me to uh to to, to forge, forge this item? Yes. It's gonna take a while. Mm. Um to do it properly and to do it with the additional steps, mm -hmm. it's gonna take the rest of the day, at least. Mm. Depending on how skillful you can put it together. Mm. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Hmm. Then we'll move forward with this, if it will help the team. How long you think that dragon's got? I do not know. Well, You're who literally else linked to her? You're what do you mean you don't know? Doing the thing with the brain. <laughs> both start yelling at Pen while he's just like trying to heat some metal. <laughs> the only time we're linked is when we yell like yelling at someone, at someone else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, B and I just work off each other. We're yelling louder, and Thaddeus is in the back, just, "Oh my god! I just told this bitch to quiet down." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not an exact science. There's a mystical element here that is beyond me. But I think we may have time. It may cut things close, but I think it can be done. <laughs> Will this help the dragon in need? Well, there's only one way to find out. I think we should go to the dragon sooner. Oh, Thaddeus just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I didn't know you were standing there. <laughs> you two ladies seem to have handled it quite quite well, but I felt the comment was necessary. <laughs> <laughs> well, then maybe we move forward. And then, if time permits, I do believe we should return. That seems like a wise plan. Well, then I suggest we don't waste much more time. And then he just kind of begins putting stuff away nice and neat. <laughs> yeah. As you're doing this, it seems that some of the people in town have noticed that the fire of the forge is lit. A line has formed on oh the opposite God. end oh, no. of the bench. 
there are some townsfolk there waiting, and one, an older gentleman, rings the bell. Smith! Rocksmith! I have a request for you! Uh, Just say uh, we'll um, turn, flare up as big as she can get, and say, We're not open! And like, just straight through you. But the fire's on, <laughs> and the smoke, I can see it. And look, the smith right there is heating up metal. It's a simple I... thing, I just need to re my horse. Can I slap him? Yes. I'll slap him. <laughs> and then I'll turn him around and say, go away. Roll me a d4. What? You're literally made of fire. It's a damage slap. Oh god, you're about it's to kill him. It's just a little dude. Okay, it's a two. You scorch his face for two fire damage as you slap him. <laughs> and it sizzles and burns and... Wow. Okay. And it kind of rolls his eyes around and looks at you with clarity. Uh-oh. You see these brown, deep eyes. Hey, eh, where am I? Where am I? I'm going to lean into uh, say You may want to slap him again. <laughs> oh, where's my... You're, wait, hey, oh, and Julius, I step forward. Julius, where are you? Son? Oh. Son, where are you? Where am I? What is this place? Who are you? What the... He looks uh, at you and says, what, what say, are you? Just say, grab Stadius. I, uh, did, and I push him in front. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> where, where am I? Just say, you will uncharacteristically he... take his hat off. So if you <laughs> might step outside, perhaps we can better explain things out there in the light. He's hoping that that weird field that was in the other town is here too, and he's going to lead this poor gentleman outside. You lead him into the town, and the next townsperson uh, comes up and oh, uh, Smith, um, I need to repair my my shovel. I was going to go out into the fields, but my spade is broken. Do you mind fixing it? Hey, Before Drusay can do anything, I'm going to step in front of <laughs> Drusay. <laughs> How do you turn off a forge? Uh, you can, I mean, you can douse it. There's plenty of water yeah. sitting next to it. Just... B's gonna do that. There's a collective, oh, from the line of people. <laughs> oh, as it like breaking. sizzles, oh pops, and the steam <laughs> bubbles out of it. And as you continue to douse the fire, it seems that they forget why they're here and. After a few minutes, move away. Thaddeus, walking with this man. My son, Julius, uh, do you know him? Where, where is he? I do not know your son, nor you. Where, where, where am I? Where, where, who are you, and where am I? Stuck here just like you are, sir. So where is he? If people are to be believed, the afterlife. The afterlife? You're saying I'm 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 dead. In a manner of speaking, yes, we are. Nice. It's, it's very weird. I, uh, yes, I agree. My wife and son, though, are, are they here with me? Where would where would I, they be? I do not have those answers for you. I simply know that people are brought here to ease their passing in some fashion. But sometimes things go wrong, and it's just not so easy. Ease. My face burned something awful. It's like I got burned by something. You did indeed. Oh. As it's... I said, things go wrong sometimes. So even in death, there's pain. Apparently so. Miserable existence, that. I wish I had better answers for you, but I felt the truth was necessary. Oh, yeah. <sighs> As you're walking about, maybe you head a little bit more towards the northern side of the town in Avaron. Okay. And an old dwarf is sitting, leaned up against the old shark pub. And you look at him, and you can see in some deep blue eyes, he is entirely aware 
And he sees you, notes that, gives you a nod, his long gray beard deep on his chest. And he moves towards you. His bald head is much too tan from many years in the sun, and his gnarled hands have probably fixed way too many fishing nets. But he approaches, and he extends one of those gnarled hands to you, Thaddeus. Hmm. Sir, name's Tug, proprietor of the old shark. Far be it for him to miss decorum. He will shake his hand. <clears throat> he uh, shake puts a head over to the townsperson. This one, um, he is awake. See that? Come, take him to the pub. I've got ways of soothing them when they wake up like that. I will leave him in your care. However, you will forgive me if I do not go in with you at this point. Understood. I'll provide him a place. He'll be right as rain come the next cycle. If you need something, no. You and your, uh... And he, like, looks over at your band of merry travelers in all shapes and sizes. A little carnival. And come have a talk. I want to know what you're doing in my town. I believe a fair exchange of information is in order. However, we have things to attend to first. So be it. But if you're planning to sp stay much longer, I'm going to want to know. Can't have all of you slapping around all my people. <laughs> to that, I agree. <laughs> he gives you a nod and he puts a strong hand on the back of this guy. Come on now. No, uh, Julius, right, your son. I'll help you find him. Come on now. And he'll lead him into the old shark pub. The dwarf have any uh, signifying markers on him that look similar to the guy in the duck inn? Uh, roll me just a insight check. Okay. Oops, my character sheet closed. Apologies. And while he's doing that, I think B is just gonna say to herself, "Look at that head of hair <laughs> on the dwarf." No, I'm Thaddeus. <laughs> just say, just goes. <laughs> What a rare sight that is. Glorious, glossy, dark hair. <laughs> just say drinks a little bit of the wine that she got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you pop up in the corner, you're just like, I don't even know what this is. It's okay. It's not the best. It was clearly made with dirty feet. It has some very earthy undertones. Yeah. <laughs> Umami. Umami. Oh my Umami. god. Umami. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with a 12, Thaddeus, no, there are no discernible markings. When you see him, unlike when you saw, um, Andre, there's no, like, break in time. There's no skull resting in some beyond. It's just a dwarf, an old fisherman, who seemingly operates this pub. And he's aware. Reasons behind which you're not entirely sure yet. He has suspicions, but no confirmations. So. That being said, we're going to go ahead and take a break. When we come back, we will continue our time in Avron and maybe find some transport to that old lighthouse across the bay. Thanks for joining us on Diefall Presents Ruin Auric. We will be right back. Hey all, Joel here. Just want to talk to you about the Diefall Patreon, and more specifically, a game that you can participate in. As a patron of the Shard of Discord tier, you are eligible to create a character to take part in an interactive game with your fellow supporters that can and will change the story, world, and interactions within the three ruined shows. You and the other supporters will be occupying a bastion of instability, a gateway to the other planes and realms in which the cast members of Lapis, Crimson, and Auric will be adventuring. It is your job to ensure the gateway remains open and operable. This is done through handling a crisis every other week, building defenses, constructing weapons, undergoing training, or bringing the fight to the enemies amongst the many planes. You will also be able to make and find items to assist the player's efforts. 
You and others will plan your course of action for every month, whether to build, fight, forage, defend, etc. Each option ranging in difficulty and effect on the world around you. In the event of a crisis, characters will be chosen or volunteer to take that crisis on during a monthly live stream, where players will roll for their successes and failures. All planning and rolling will happen in the Discord server and patron-specific channels, which players will be given access to after joining the Shard of Discord on patreon.com slash diefall. The link is obviously in the description below. You also get the rules document and the instructions on character creation. Will you be the scout that finds the supplies necessary to survive, the builder that expands the shard's capabilities, the warrior that defends the portal, or even the chef that ensures everyone is fed? You can support us, play a game, and affect the adventure all at the same time. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I'll be there, as I always am. Thank you all for your support and patronage. And please do continue to enjoy all of the Dungeons & Dragons content, because there is always more. Bye. Welcome back to Diefall Presents Ruin. Auric, we are in the sleepy fishing town of Averon. Have started a forge, doused a forge, slapped a man, and met an old dwarf named Tug. But until now, we don't really know what we're doing. Oh, we, felt a, we fed a skeleton horse. It went okay. Fed. It went okay. It ate? Yeah. We kind of find ourselves in, in that situation. I think Thaddeus probably returning to the forge while we're having parked the wagon. Also <laughs> back there, meeting out in front of the freshly doused forge. What do you think you want to do here? I want to look around at the edge of town to see if there's a boat or something that we can take. Yeah, uh, there is indeed a harbor. There are fishing boats, in fact, uh, that sit on the docks here. As you've been looking around, again, the Lawnfall Landing is the name of the harbor, and the inn beside it, this one right here, uh, where you can see it says on one of the signs, the Harbor Master's Office. I'm going to go knock on that door. Okay. You knock on the harbor master's door, and opening it up is this large orc woman. And she's got these big tusks jutting out, um, bright eyes, but clouded. And her hair tied up in a black bun on the back of her head. She's wearing simple clothes, but um, there is a name tag there that says, Hello, my name is Harbor Master. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Just in case. <laughs> Is that a family name? Oh, yes. Uh, Harbor Master, Harbor Master. At your service. Harbor Master, Harbor Master. Uh, nice to meet you. My name is B. Perennial II, and I'm here to acquiesce a boat. Acquiesce a boat? Well, I suppose we do have some boat rentals. Are looking for a scenic route around the bay? Maybe a trip into one of the other districts from the sea? Or are you looking to do some deep sea fishing? Something a little simpler than that. I've got about six passengers who need to get across the water here to go check out that lighthouse. She like lean, turns and looks. Oh, no one goes there. Well, now somebody will. No. What's your price? Oh, I'm sorry. No one goes there. Excuse me? No one goes there. Can I slap her? No, I'll, hey, ask, no, no. <laughs> I'll ask B. I'm just like, can I slap her too? Uh, give me a couple more minutes with her here. Um, Harbor Master, Harbor Master. I don't think I properly introduced myself. I am B. Perennial the Secret, second <laughs> heir to the Perennial Throne. And I demand that we have a tiny boat to get across that little river. Tiny Wait, boat, yeah. little river. Behind her. Uh huh. Behind her, I would like to flare up, and can I try to intimidate physically? You can certainly can I try. Can I try to intimidate physically? Because I want to like help out, but not have B know that I'm trying to help out. So like I'm doing it behind her. Yeah. Again, you can certainly <laughs> try. Um, this woman okay. has the clear signs of not being fully aware. So whether or not this is going to have the desired effect, you oh. will have to see. Fine, I guess I'll do it anyways. Mm -hmm. So you flare up, and you Damn. get big and hot, 
and B, you can feel something very warm behind <laughs> you. Uh, and Harbor Master, Harbor Master is just looking at you, smiling, says, no, uh, no, no one goes there. That's the Tower of Lawnfall. Nope. And she, like, points out, and you can see there's, like, shipwrecks around the sides of the tower there. Nope. Too dangerous. No one goes there. If you'd like to take this scenic route, Miss B. Perennial II of the Perennials. I'm sorry, I don't really know that name too well. Um, we can charter you some deep sea fishing for you and your six companions. Mm, I see. Thank you very much, Miss Harbor Master. Harbor Master, it was nice to meet you. Oh, pleasure is all mine. If you need anything, uh, booking some passage, maybe a fishing trip, or we're a fine. Stay oh, thank, at you, the inn. thank you. Thank <laughs> you. That will be <laughs> all. Yeah, and it just and she just keeps talking and it just closes. I have an idea, but I do not like it, Miss Balmer. If I could have a moment of your time, okay. I happened upon a uh, a dwarf not too long ago who seemed to be in a particular state, not unlike Mister Andre. And I am wondering if he has any association with your patron. Um. Maybe. Maybe. He was very intent on helping the uh, the poor victim from the uh, the fiery slap from earlier. Hmm. <laughs> um. Because he said he had ways he could help people. I guess. Okay. Um. Yeah, we can go and ask him. Um. I mean, clearly we're not getting anywhere with the harbor master. Harbor master. He presented Sorry. himself as something of an authority in this town. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I. I don't. I don't mind. Um. I don't mind asking him or and seeing what's. Maybe he. Maybe he's a better access to anybody who would be able to be brave enough to ship us over to, considering he owns the pub. Question mark. And as a backup, I know how to drive a boat. Yeah, uh, Drissé would like to look for any boats at the Better. docks. <laughs> Un yeah. Un looked after. <laughs> Dude, let's split the party. <laughs> oh, no. No. Also, yeah, while this is going on, I do want to check one thing. I want to actually go to the harbor, or like up to the edge. I want to actually kind of like see if I can judge the waters. Yeah, um, roll me a perception check for the, the waters out here. There are, like, a sets of docks. There are fishing mm. boats. Some of the uh, ports uh, ports are empty as the, the fishers are out. Um, but there are boats there. None of them are overly large, you would note. This is indeed mm. what would equate to a smaller fishing town. Mm -hmm. There are some larger fishing boats, but nothing like the ship that you were on that one moment you were tossed into the ocean. Uh, oh. Can I get an idea? Uh, would I have any idea of how deep any of this water even is? Uh, So it's 17 here. It's mm -hmm. odd. Right now, mm. it looks like it's rather deep. You would call it more of a bay rather than like mm -hmm. a lake or something like that. And as you stare off to the side, there's some fog far off to the west past the tower itself. And it seems that the water continues out that way. It's pretty hmm. deep. Hmm. The water is dark. Hmm. Even better. Um... Oh, poopy water. Um. Did you just say any... poopy water? <laughs> Pen standing water. on the precipice. <laughs> 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 I looked out upon uh, the, the good works of the Lord and said poopy water. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Um. Do I? Mm, I kind of want to try something, but I don't. I don't want to die. Oh wait, try no. Let's I don't need out. to breathe. I don't need to <laughs> breathe. Screw it. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna step into the water. Uh -huh. Oh dear, I was worried. Uh, about just that. like off the end of the dock. 
Yeah. We just see him walk off. Oh my god. <laughs> and he's heavy. Uh-huh. <sighs> yeah, and you walk off uh you take a long walk off a short pier and uh you splash <laughs> into the water and sink mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. quickly into the darkness okay. of the bay. And you sink. Just say you, we shouldn't have put the forge out. He wanted to make it so bad. <laughs> until your feet touch this kind of sandy, rocky bottom. Mm -hmm. and you roll me a intelligence check. You're pretty smart. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, th there it be. Oh, not today. Not today. <laughs> it's dark eight. down here. <laughs> and you judge your distance down between 40 and 60 feet. Jesus. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'm not going down in there. <laughs> I, I well, you're made out of fire. Of I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't watch, I wouldn't ask you. Uh, okay, what, what ships are closest to us that could hold about six people? Uh, most of them are, you know, smaller fishing boats, but there are a couple of them that could hold... Uh, six people, larger like okay. fishing trawlers. Yeah. Okay, oh, I'm gonna get on one, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell B to come with me as as we. I'm hop not on gonna come with you. Pan just walked off the end of we this dock. We are going you think to <laughs> save him. How you go? How are you going to save him? If we drop the anchor, maybe he can grab onto it and climb his way out. I don't need to breathe. <laughs> Maybe but they yeah, don't know they that, agree, yeah. you know? But I don't well, think they know that. Yeah, but I don't <laughs> think you can swim either, so... No, I can't and it's swim, a steep, but, like... It's, like, it was it's steep a, yeah. down. Like, I don't know that you can yeah. even climb back up, right? No, I don't think I can. Yeah. I was actually going to make that attempt, though. I mean, no, but if we drop... But my plan so is, gonna... like, telling B, if we drop the anchor near him, he might be able to climb out. <laughs> yeah, that, okay, that sure. makes logical sense. I mean, we don't have any other options. I can't do a whole lot i mean uh, well how, and you how know how close... to you know how to steer a boat so wow I, <laughs> what the fuck all right <laughs> the, it i just i'm flabbergasted because we was about to go talk to whoever thaddeus was recommended and all of a sudden pendulum done committed suicide yeah, I, I don't know what his idea i don't know <laughs> i don't know why he did that he, well, did you, you see guys... that he just took a step off <laughs> when you guys work through this, I'm gonna go and um Balra's getting concerned about uh the death knight, I think not making it by this long, so she's gonna go and kind of be like, Okay, y'all figure I I don't know what I'm like panicking. Side note, I'm getting really sick to my stomach, so I'm actually gonna back out. Um yeah, go ahead, go. I'm so sorry, you guys. It's I'm gonna good. leave my thing open so you guys can still have the whatever. I'm mm -hmm. so sorry. Okay. No, it's go, okay. Go. 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 Yeah, yeah, go do your thing. All right. Okay. Uh, as you argue she, on this, she's pen... crying. She's just crying <laughs> in the wagon. She's just crying in the wagon. Oh. She misses death no, knife. No. She lost her tiny knife. She lost her tiny knife. Um, not the knife. Pen is at the bottom of the water. Thaddeus, mm -hmm. what are you doing as Drusse and B are arguing whether or not they're going to steal a boat? <laughs> We agreed we weren't going to. It, it seemed really argumentative for agreeing on anything. Well, that's oh, because that's the it's way that we just talk. Say, have, Joel, yeah, Jesus have you, yeah, Christ, Jesus have you Christ. watched Come our own on, show? Dude, what's wrong with you? I'm they tired. They are aggressively agreeing. I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll just, we just end the show here. Thaddeus is like looking that in the was, direction of Oh my God, right Beth, now. I love you. That was the best example we could what have given him. <laughs> Unbelievable. <sighs> well, it seems all of you collectively have all decided to take different actions all at the exact same time. You know, and Penn I mean, is at the excited. bottom of the, of the ocean here, so... Yeah. I'm what just walking. I'm just see. gonna walk. <laughs> Can we see bubbles? Walrus walked see off. Bubbles? No. Pendulum, Pendulum doesn't jumped breathe. off a pier. <laughs> just yeah, but he's, steal a boat. he's got like armpits and shit. Like there might be air yeah, trapped yeah, yeah. in yeah. spots. Yeah. Pat, wait, wait. You got air trapped in pockets wait. somewhere? Joel. Uh, yes. 
Can we see the dirt, the Maybe? sand being kicked up? Like, do we see parts of the water getting darker to see where Oil he is? Spills. Exactly. Okay, not that. Okay, just the, like the sand. <laughs> Do, do we see like why is everyone laughing what's like, wrong with oil spills do we see shadows <laughs> damn nice all right one at a time uh roll me a perception check jerse <sighs> to try and spot if you can where he is uh, remember for us we know that pendulum is roughly 40 to 60 feet down now, whether or not the sand stays in a concentrated enough portion to show where he is when he lands or disperses in that 40 to 60 feet before it rises to the surface, if indeed it would rise, it's deep. At 18, 18. you see dark water. You do not see where he, if he's still down in that same spot. The moment has been pretty immediate, other than a quick argument with B, where you apparently agreed that you're going to steal a boat, but you do not we immediately did. know where he is. You know where he went down, but you do not see any other disturbances. For you, that probably suggests, with that perception check, it's deep. So any disturbances to the bottom of the floor or his movement around is going to be really hard to notice, if at all. The water is not clear. It is very dark. Mm. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and steer this commandeered ship over to the end of the dock. So you like get on the boat and you go mm -hmm. over to where you're gonna do this. So these are sailing ships, which means someone's gonna have to paddle this thing out paddle. of the dock or- Paddle? I'm literally hot air. I can move the air or... with my hand. And me... I'm, a lo I'm a noble. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to finish a sentence before being jumped on. Or you can try to put the sails down and maneuver it out from the dock where it is. Right now, they are in slips face forward onto the pier. So they would have to be paddled backwards out. And then you could you know, drop the sails or paddle further out away from the docks um, you know, to make some clearance. They're like in little boat slips. So you step onto a boat in this little assigned slip because there's a harbor master here who keeps track of the boats. I've got a better idea. Why don't we just steal the anchor and then take it to the end of the dock? Just carry the anchor? But we still need a boat to get across. That's why. One problem at a time. Well, why not knock out two boats with one stone? <clears throat> Because then I'd be stepping on everybody else's idea to go talk to the uh, dwarf. No, no, we're, we're, we're warming up the boat. <laughs> we're warming we're up the boat. The boat. So, so if you guys stepped... <laughs> warming. My, my, my first question here is, have you stepped onto the boat? Is someone on the boat now that you have selected to steal? <clears throat> I'll be on it. Okay. That makes sense. You step onto the boat, and yeah, the boat itself is large enough to house six of you, as well as it seems to have a lower deck and cabin. You step onto the boat, and as you move about, eventually someone comes out from underneath <laughs> their living quarters. <laughs> this man comes out and says, Ah! Hey! Who's on my boat? Ah! Oh, what are you doing? I don't have any trips planned today. We have a mandatory inspection. Mandatory inspection? Inspection what? Sir, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and step inside. I, go get yourself a drink at that fine pub over there. We'll, we'll be just a moment. Ah, uh, probably per, a persuasion check? <laughs> 21. Ooh. Damn. Ah. <laughs> I'd rather stick with my boat. If you're going to be inspecting, I may have some explaining to do about some of the things I've got on <laughs> here. <laughs> Sir, well, it's, it's 21 it's not... wasn't strong enough? You're asking a man to leave his livelihood behind in the Sir, hands we'll of Sir, we'll be just a, a moment, just a moment. We'll be just a moment. Don't you worry, we're not going to nitpick. We just need you to go and step off and to the side. I'll just stand on the pier then while you do your work. Uh, you, you treat her. You treat old Sea Star right. All right. She likes to be patted on the sides. Yeah. And he hobbles up and off 
the boat and stands on the pier, arms crossed, hunched over. I'll go down into his living quarters, grab a blanket and his pillow, and be like, take a nap while we work, please. I'm, I'm not on the pier. I'm not tired. Why would I, I be I, napping? I, I, I lean over to be, I, can I knock this man out? Yeah, he can knock this man out. Okay, I would like to knock the man out. Roll me an attack. <laughs> You roll, I, I mean, you punch the man. What is your strength modifier? God, we had him. <laughs> we fucking had him. God damn it. You, do, you, oh. like, do you like punch him? Do you like use a, bl just, like just, a, a hilt of a no. blade? Uh... Um, just like, just like my hand. But I, I wrap it with my, my cloth so I don't burn him, okay? I just want to bop him on the head so that he just goes to sleep. Okay. You know. You clock this old man in the head and he collapses <laughs> to the ground in a heap. I ho I no, I catch him. <laughs> yeah, and this is a team effort. Okay. <laughs> I lay him down onto the pillow and blanket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the pier in the rain. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, I pull well, the blanket covered, up yeah. over him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like covered like body. he was dead. <laughs> like a dead body, yeah. No, he's on his <laughs> side. He's on his side. So if he throws up, it won't go back down into his okay. throat and make yes. him die. Yes. Okay, you knocked him out. <laughs> All right, let's do this quick. All right, let's go. I'll start paddling and turning it. Thaddeus, where push. are you right now? <laughs> I guess. Overwhelmed. That's where he is. <laughs> <laughs> do you get on the boat? I would love to hear why this any of this was necessary. <laughs> Who am I to stop Dressay from being Dressay? As I oh, wait, was Thaddeus the here the whole time? Yes. I he was... Oh, <laughs> he, he's been, he's on, like, been the... watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like sick with a little blanket. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't really have the strength to stop us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> Still got a little bit of black around the eyes. I... <laughs> that is, roll me a perception check. Oh, great. All right. 14. Okay. You look down the end of the pier, back towards the, uh, back towards Averon, and you see mm -hmm. a gray-bearded, bald dwarf Oh, no. Walking slowly but deliberately in your direction. We are not going anywhere. Dorsey's paddle. paddling. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, athletic I'm, yeah, check. We're, we're, we are going somewhere. All right. For, yeah. yeah. It, and it's uh, just to the end of the dock, guys. Yeah, we're not even. Literally, yeah, we're not leaving anywhere yet. Don't you say yeah. We're not leaving it. You're the one who's got us in this mess. You okay. agreed. <laughs> paddling at once, or we are going to be making more enemies that are unnecessary. I li uh, B listens. <sighs> that man, and he points at him, walking towards us is the authority I suggested we talk to. And now you have knocked out one of his charges in his care and attempted to steal a boat. How, we are what going do you to make this right, and we are going to get an ally in this hellscape of wherever the fuck we are, and we're going oh. to do it right. Okay, but don't forget that Pendulum is at the bottom of this very deep water, and that was the whole reason that we were trying to rescue him. Smash I cut to, to what Pendulum is doing. Pendulum, what are you doing at the bottom of the water? <laughs> <laughs> I've just been walking. <laughs> Where are you going, bud? Oh my god. Uh, I was literally just gonna just go straight and just see what happens. <laughs> so you walked off this thing and okay, and you're going to start going uh straight from the pier mm -hmm. in uh this general direction. Mhm. Mm oh my god, he's going to miss it. <laughs> well, yeah, give or take. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark, so I'm just going to go straight. <laughs> If I wouldn't have failed my perception, I would have just gone oh, like, yeah, that way. Oh. I'm just going oh, to head straight. Oh, but he has like a psychic happens. connection with the dragon. Yeah. Oh. Not right now. 
Well, you could choose for it to be right now. <laughs> if you get to We're that dragon... We're writing the story as we go, bud. <laughs> Pen, you note that it is getting deeper as you move away from the pier. You continue huh. walking. It's been roughly 10 minutes of random arguments between Drusay, B, and Thaddeus now as they Ten wait minutes. on the pier. Pendulum, it's harder to walk down here, but you don't need to breathe, so you keep sure. walking. Mm -hmm. For us at home, Pendulum is probably 300 feet away from the pier at this point in time. <laughs> We go back up topside to the pier, <laughs> where yeah, gonna find him. <laughs> the old man is approaching, the old dwarf. Dude, like, and Thaddeus he... said fuck, and B, like, had, like, a flashback to when she was a child. <laughs> <laughs> and did something, like, outrageous, and Thaddeus, the only time she's ever heard him swear was, like, I was, I had almost died, and he was upset about, like, she's frozen, dude. She's, like... Freak it. Jersey, are you still paddling or are you listening? This is a large <laughs> this is a large enough boat for six people. It probably could house double that as you attempt to paddle away. Are you trying I'll to do listen. that? Listen. Okay. So B, you're like holding the mooring lines, right? I'm holding a yeah. paddle. And you're holding a paddle. And Thaddeus has just yelled at you both. And now this dwarf is walking down the thing. You have roughly 10 seconds before he arrives. He can see everything clearly here, but do you just stand and wait, or do you choose to do something else? Oh, what else are we going to do? But I'm going to let go of the morgue and come, come up to Thaddeus like a n naughty little girl. <laughs> walk off. He's going to oh walk off. Oh, my the boat. God. Yeah, so you, you wrap you it off. You were on the boat? No, no. Yeah. I thought he was just on the pier yelling at us. They're paddling, right? They were. Like they yeah. have to be on we the boat to do that. Yeah. Well, he had to get up there to yell at him. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Oh. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair because you're feeling sick. All right. Everyone roll me a, a D20. <gasps> Thanks for the 20 retweets, chat. Yo, right. Ooh. <laughs> Pen. Uh, I, like I didn't do it on purpose. Pe pen and, How are we gonna? Pen and Drusay, roll it again. Oh, <gasps> oh shit! As well. Uh, Pen gets it. <laughs> That's a nat one, honestly, Pen. Honestly, you need wow, it more than I do. So yeah, he needs it. He yeah. needs it yeah. more than I do. Yeah, Blurred, your your dice are horribly yeah. cursed today. That is a lot of nat ones, <sighs> bud. All right. At least this time it worked out in my favor. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you hop off the boat, and as you do, this old gnarled dwarf comes up, and he looks at Thaddeus specifically, and he says, and then looks down at the blanket-covered man. Goes, well, did you kill this one, or was he just Thankfully, out? Thankfully, no. I thought we said no more punching of my people. That is something I did promise, yes. However, someone else took it upon themselves to break said promise before I could get them under control. I asked if you and your lot were going to be a problem. Apparently we are right now. But I guess, and he turns to look behind at the two women, it's going to be up to them if we're going to continue to be. What in hell's name? are you doing here? How do we answer this question? Ladies, would you care to do the honors? We, well, Drissé, you shut your mouth. Uh, you agree Hello. with me. He Never hey. mind, I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> One of our foolish compatriots walked himself right off the edge of the pier. They had the idea of using an anchor to try and rescue him. An anchor? What, can yes. he not swim? He, he walked cannot. off the pier and decided no. to not be able to swim. I was just as shocked as you are, sir. So he's <laughs> drowned and dead again, then? We don't believe that he needs air, as you and I might. Ah, the metal one, then. That is right. Hmm. Refired the forge and doused it half as quickly. 
once again. That is correct. <laughs> so he's down there somewhere at the bottom. At this point, Lord knows where. Hmm. Unfortunate that. Well, we can tie off an anchor and drop it down there if you think it'll find him. It is a start. Ladies, would you perhaps care to work with this gentleman? Name's if Tug. You deem it... <clears throat> it... B did not like being interrupted, but understands that now is not the time. <laughs> Name's B Perennial the Second. Pleasure. Wow. Okay. Beth, you were just got a, given a card. Uh, go ahead and accept that, and you'll recognize it, and you can use it whenever you see fit. Thank you very much, chat. Wow. Where do Thanks, I everybody. see it? Uh, so it'll I be down support. on your name. You can click your name, and it'll open up the or click the card there, and you should be able to look at it. Uh, on roll 20, you should see a little card above your name at the bottom. Yeah. See where it says Beth B. Rad, and there's a little card with a 1 on it? Yes. You can click that. It's tiny. How do you make it bigger? You I click on it again. <laughs> there are pills for that, <laughs> Thaddeus. <laughs> yeah, if you click on it again and it's in your possession, it should just zoom it in and highlight it for you. Don't you worry. He's a grower, not a shower. Oh, my God. Ayo, hey, chat, crower gang. <laughs> <laughs> I almost made him spit on his water. <laughs> oh, God. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you going to swallow that? Stop. Like a good boy? Oh, always. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> so, you can edit that out, right? <laughs> I'm not editing it out. Uh, yes. So that, that, that's the clip for next week for, the, the, for the next session. <laughs> next session, I, I'm calling it. Oh, I missed it. So, uh, Tug hops onto the same boat that you were just on, <laughs> grabs the rope and anchor from it, hauls it off, and plops it down on the edge of the pier. Well, if he can see down there, maybe he'll see it. Hopefully, he stayed in one place. <sighs> oh my God. That is the hope at this point. However, <laughs> after watching him jump off of a pier unsolicited, <sighs> I do not know what he will do down there. Well, here it is. Now, if you don't mind answering this question again, what are you doing in Avaron at all? We're trying to get to the Tower of Ronfell. Why? There's no one a, goes there. That's what the... So we have heard. Fish woman said. Someone fish woman. went there. Someone went there, and they need help. And we're trying to help her. Hmm. It used to be a lighthouse. Till a big-ass storm destroyed the top of it. It's much too much of a bother to get out there and fix the damn thing, so it's just sat in ruins. No one gets there. No one goes there. But if you need to get there to get out of my damn town... Fine. We'll take my boat. But first, get your dumb metal friend back up here. <laughs> Um, is there, do you have any tools of locating a mass of metal by any chance? No. Generally, when we toss metal off, we tie it to something. And he points at the anchor that is clearly tied to some rope. <laughs> you getting any bites down there? <laughs> hear the splash or something like please can pen this... what have you been mm -hmm. doing for the last five minutes <laughs> you still walking bud i mean i had no reason not to <laughs> pen 
one is now really? at least 100 feet below the surface of this oh bay. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is deep. It's very oh deep. God. No, he cannot <laughs> he hear the splash. He is no. probably another 300 feet out from shore. You can walk pretty far in 15 minutes. Pen, what do you want to do? I can't see the map that you drew and the direction with which. Yeah, I'll, uh, you want me to, yeah, we'll pull that up. Why not? It didn't really mean <laughs> that much because it's just an arrow pointing out to nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's just, the so, wrong way. just so everybody has the visual that we're all enjoying. Yeah. That's Pen. Pen's the arrow. I'm, I'm the arrow. He's going to miss the <laughs> island. Yes. <laughs> uh, <clears> hmm. <throat> I am going to, uh, I'm going to stop where I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is far deeper than I had anticipated. <laughs> okay. So you stop 500 feet from shore. <laughs> 100 so feet below the water. And back at the pier, we are dropping an anchor <laughs> at the end of it to try and hit some metal at the bottom. <laughs> I feel like that would have killed me. <laughs> Good. Yeah. yeah. That would have killed me. <laughs> Good. Oh, goodness gracious. I had to try. <laughs> Wasn't Pen the one who you was like... You could have told us. Wasn't Pen the Yo, one who was like, this is teamwork. We're going to work together to create something amazing in this forge. And then just by himself <laughs> walked, walked off. off of yeah, Drissi is yeah. really, really thinking back on what he said about me being special and wondering if he was okay when he said that. Or if he was just like, <laughs> if his short circuiting. Maybe. Another card has been bought What's for this? Stella. Oh, what the? God. So while you're fishing there. No. Lowering down the anchor, picking it up, lowering it down, picking it up. Uh, at one point in time, it comes up a little heavier than normal. You draw on the gem card. Mm. Sack of 200 gems is hauled up with the anchor. <laughs> it's not pen. <laughs> <laughs> the pen turned into gem? <laughs> Maybe. Is this magic water? Is this hell ma magic hell water? I'm pretty sure it's just water. <laughs> okay. Uh, That's a lot of gems this? you got there. I'd be willing to share some with you for our troubles. It's mine. <laughs> I have my own. You can keep your shiny stones. I will also pitch in. I mean, no, I have no need of any of these things. I'm a dead man. What's a dead man gonna do with a bunch of gems? I don't know, make something pretty with it? Make something pretty. Hold on pretty. a second. What, what's your whole deal, Mr. Dead Man? We, I didn't catch your name. It's Tug. I've said it about three different times now. Well, the time that you said it to me, you cut me off, and I have a hard time listening to people who talk over me. I'm B. Perennial the Second. Nice to meet you. And I have a hard time with strangers coming into town beating on my people. Well... This is Drissé, and she's who you can blame for both instances of beating on your people. Now tell me why they're your people. I've been here a long time. Been awake a long time. Passed up my chance for resurrection many times. Because there ain't no one out here looking out for these people. Gadarian don't give a damn. None of them do. They're just souls wandering around unless they can be used. Look around you. He like kind of points back to the like sleepy, empty, like bedraggled town. They have nothing. They don't know it, but they have nothing. So I do what I can to take care of them, even if they aren't aware of it. It's incredibly altruistic of you. He shrugs. Is he being truthful? Roll me an insight check. Whoa. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. I have to maneuver around a cat right now. <laughs> <laughs> Pen is still at the bottom of this stupid water. Yeah, uh, and even further <laughs> away. <laughs> Twelve. Blurred. I I stopped. Um, 
He doesn't it's seem to be lying or you know telling a half truth of any kind. He looks as old as he says he is. He hasn't given you any reason to doubt him. But, you know, you still have that, like, there's that nagging feeling probably while you're here in general that, I mean, Gadarian has people all over the place, right? Yeah. Maybe this is one of them, but he seems to be telling the truth. Who do you serve, sir? Serve no one. Serve myself. Serve these people. I could help more of them than I would, but, well, he looks down at his kind of gnarled old hands. Hands are kind of full as it is with just this lot. There is a uh, compatriot of ours who perhaps has similar goals of yours in service of some higher power. <laughs> they might be able to help you out. No. No. I'm not looking for any service to any god. It's clear they've just left us here to rot anyway. So it seems. Well, if it makes you feel any better about me uh, having hurt some of your people, uh, you can see across the way, and I'm just saying points at the flames, we too don't want these people to be taken advantage of or used. I mean, we just took out this farm that was sacrificing innocent people under the pretense of helping others. That's a good point. Do you know anything about how Gadarian is stealing the ether of these folks to use as fodder for a war? Don't know what that means. Don't want to know. <laughs> all right. Well, I can tell you that we're all on the same side, and I apologize for what's happened here. I'm not trying to get involved in any wars or any gods. Just stop hurting my people. Uh, you have my word. You got it. Fine. And where's this damn metal man? I don't think he's here. <sighs> Pen, where are yes. you, bud? I stopped moving. <laughs> you did. <laughs> yeah, now so now what? You? Uh, Mr. Teamwork. I could try Mr. to turn Team around and go work. back. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you can certainly try. I don't think it's gonna work though. God, <laughs> can <laughs> certainly. Why uh... would you do this? <laughs> we don't have any magic spells for like detect big metal dumbasses. <laughs> no, I, mean, I have. Not. I have mind spike, but I need to see him. I was mind spike would also hurt. Oh, don't, don't, don't mind spike him. <laughs> I don't care if it hurts him at this point. Like, I, mean, oh, not gonna help. I was looking for like... scrolls for new spells, but you know. I mean, oh, I'm village. psychic. So, yeah. yeah, you are. You can establish Wait, psychic I... connections with people. That is one of your abilities, but you have to have been, I believe, have to have seen them to do it. Joel, yeah, I, I have seen him in before. Okay, I mean, like, to establish the <laughs> like, connection. You have to <laughs> yes, what's up? What if. What if I take a gem mm -hmm. and throw it? Like, can the sparkle of that, can he see that in the water? Maybe. He is a hun. You don't know, right? You don't know where he is. You know where he dropped off. That's it. So you can take one of those gems, or all of them, and just start throwing them into the water, hoping that he spots them before it gets too dark at the bottom of this you know, dark water, on a not sunny day. Hmm. But you can definitely try to do that. It's not a sunny day. <laughs> it is not a sunny day. It's not a sunshiny day. Oh my god, you no. piece of shit, Pen! <laughs> <laughs> can you <he> hear that? <laughs> No, unfortunately yeah, not. So if, oh, if you're anything. Throw, I'm 100 feet underwater. If I were to water. throw a fireball across, he wouldn't be able to see that, right? Because he's very deep. He's very deep. Again, you do not know where he is. Oh, I got a question, Tug. Yeah. You got any of them real long, big fishing nets? <laughs> yeah. We got quite a few of them. You want to go trolling for him? I 
want to go trolling for him. Oh my god. Penny, Tug, will just... you troll with me? If it'll get you out of my town, sure. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Uh, another one of Stella's carts. What? Oh my god. What is this? <laughs> oh, I forgot there was get? multiple. What is this? You, ah! you lose a memory. Any memory. Again? It is now gone. Okay, what I lose the memory of me me um lose? um punching that guy out. The one currently or the one before? Currently. <laughs> so this guy is now on the ground and we have learned nothing about our actions. Cuz you no, don't I remember. I just forget that I punched it. him out. So there's oh, a guy on the ground and you don't remember. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Good. She has no memory of this. <laughs> right. Well, let me get the net and the boat. Uh, see if we can't find him. And then take you to the tower, is that right? That would be fantastic. God damn it. Okay. Uh this Demonic is... tragedies, what are you oh doing? Yeah, this God. is like, we're right at the end. Like, I can't... There's not enough time for this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Blame Blurred for making us waste so much time trying to get him out. We don't, we don't blame. We're not blaming <laughs> each other because we won't get out of hell if we do that. Okay, so we blame Joel. <laughs> what did you say? That's, plan. That's a good plan, yeah. I, I mean, he's all not the one. That plan. Joel is a good <laughs> lover, guys. Everybody calm <laughs> down. And he always finishes. It. He, always... he always finishes. <laughs> the mirror. Well, he always does. Okay, but does the, the things other? that you want? That's what he does. That's. Um, he start him next game. We got the blessing. I don't have to do it now. Thank <laughs> fucking god. All right, back to the fucking town. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my, uh, I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. This is, we've already done one of these. Fuck. It's gonna be okay, my dude. Is it? No, it's fine. It's gonna be no. okay, my guy. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, thank you so much. We'll do it. We'll do it at the beginning of the next one. I'll make a note of it. Uh, So, that being said. You're just getting it because we're awesome, Joel, all right? That's, it's, you know. yeah, I understand. I understand you know. why it's happening. Tug <laughs> invites you to help him bring the boat around and get one of his largest fishing nets prepared to go trolling about the bay to see if they can you can find Pen. This is going to take a long time unless someone decides they can find Pen or Pen, you figure out what you're doing down there. <laughs> or if you decide to go no back. Idea. This is an enorm like the amount of space that you all have to cover with a seven person boat and a net down to a depth of over 100 feet in some areas. So we're trying wait. to find one Can you can you thing. be a light? Wait. Mm. No. Wait. What am I okay. waiting on? Okay, so how about just say we'll suggest that they go towards the lighthouse and try to fix it so that maybe the light will guide Pen. I mean, Thaddeus is a handy man, so he could probably do something. That get works I was if you're a boat. To say that, yes. I was going to suggest something. He's 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 made of parts. He'll figure it out. So Thaddeus, as they're traveling, whichever direction we choose, is going to, as much as possible, shoot sources of light straight down into the water, like some kind of signal flare, so he can hopefully see the damn things. What Using kind prestidigitation. of prestidigitation. Okay. The distance on prestidigitation is what? Not very far, but hopefully the light itself emanating from it is enough to overcome that. Uh, 10 feet. Oh. 
So you shoot them down 10 feet into the water to try and create sparks or light or something that Pent can yeah. notice. Okay. As yeah. you are also dragging the net across the floor of oh the ocean. Oh my god. <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch. Blurred. What? Are you? What did you just put into the chat, Blurred? Why did you? I shot. You are... <laughs> you I are... shot. I shot a magic missile straight up. He's he's gonna kill us. He's gonna kill you, us. You you. Oh my god. Not at you. I just literally just straight no, up. No, we don't know where we right are. <laughs> I don't think y'all know where I am. Oh, this is it's, a good thing that he took line. all it's, episode to do. It's fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, roll me some perception checks to see if you notice this magic missile. Net 20, bitch! <laughs> I was waiting for it to just... Because <laughs> it only comes up about 20 feet above the water from where he's at right now if he Jesus shoots it directly Christ. upward. Three. I'm using my nat 20. Bright my magic missiles. <laughs> Fizzle out 20 feet above the water, roughly 500 feet from the pier. Jesus. 500? <laughs> he walked for 15 minutes in a straight line. Y'all were arguing. <laughs> he is not going to walk in a straight line after I'm done with him. Let me just Woo! tell you that. <laughs> and so, B, you point this out. Yes? I do. With Tug in tow, you drag the net in that direction. Pen, you're just stand still waiting at the bottom. He better. Yeah, I just, I, I, I've literally been standing still for like, yeah. I feel like 20 minutes. <laughs> well, no, no, no longer. Right. The amount of time it would have been for them to go get the boat, prepare the mm -hmm. net, start doing this whole thing, and <laughs> then you decide to do, like, it's been over an hour of you being <laughs> under the water. So, yeah. You see a I'm net a bit while. being dragged across mm -hmm. the bottom. You see the, the dust of the sand and rock being kicked up. And you see this net arriving. What do you do? I just stand still. <laughs> and we I let it just run over me. <laughs> and it encapsulates you. And we watch at the top <laughs> as the net kind of like catches something here. Fortunately, not another rock, but actually pen. It is hauled <laughs> up with hopefully oh the assistance of B, Drissé, and Thaddeus yes. to the deck where you see <laughs> pen. Soggy. <laughs> covered in some kind of seaweed and sand and grit in a net. <laughs> I, 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 can I suggest that we leave him in the net for a while? I think that's a fine suggestion. And before Let's you say anything, up. Pendulum, I don't know, want to know even one second of explanation as to why you just did what you did. I just want to move on. <laughs> So this is the right one. We didn't pull up some random metal man. Well, we are in hell, so this could very well be some random metal man, <laughs> given yeah. everything we have seen. You want to put him back, then? Nah, we'll I, keep this What one. I want and what we need to be doing are two different things. Yes. Right. Well, you want to head straight to the tower, or do you want to spend some time at the bar and dry off? Tower. Uh, aside, mm -hmm. canonically, since Balra is still at the town, we should probably go back with her. Balra's at the town, and then Death Knight's not here. Because mm. I think it, it would be wrong to go to the tower without her. I mean, if you want to split the party and Balra's on her own little adventure, I suppose you can make that decision. But she's not here to make the decision with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know what we'll do? We'll do it next time. A... Okay. Yay. Thank you, everyone. I would everyone. like to yep. take a little bit of the seaweed that came up and slap it in Penn's face so he can't see. Man, you are just slappy today. You have <laughs> slapped everyone you've come across. Really? Joel? <laughs> Joel. Joel. 14 hit points. No, you're fine. Nothing bad happened to you, except for the other two Fuck cards that we're going to hold for next you. time. Thanks for joining us on Diefall Presents Ruin Auric. It was a time. We clearly have chaos to kick off the next one and a bunch of cards banked. I know which one Stella has and I know where they're going already, which is great. 
Uh, and we have some cards that I did hand out to both Leslie and Finn. They know that they can use them at any point in time, so thank you very much, chat, for the support on those. Really do appreciate it. Um, let's do shout-outs from around of the cast, and we'll close out the show. Playing B Perennial the second. Beth B. Rad, where can we find you on the internet? I'm Beth B. Rad. I'm on Twitch Mondays and hopefully Thursday nights doing like anime bullshit video games. Um, I'm also on Twitter, Instagram. I have a podcast called D and D and D Dinner and Dungeons and Dragons. So I don't know if you'll like Dungeons and Dragons storytelling and comedy, but like that's a thing that I do sometimes. <laughs> and that's it, baby. Thank you. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, 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 one last thing. Okay. Sorry, my no, online good. store. Yes, what about it? My Tell us. My online store is going to be open tomorrow, December 1st, until the 13th. Christmas so presents. That's what that means. Presents. Yeah. Awesome. Be Radshop.cool. Radshop.cool. <laughs> so cool. Thank you very much, <laughs> Beth. <clears throat> Playing Pendulum, the soggy <laughs> bottom boy. <laughs> Blurred without fear, where can we find you on the internet? Uh, primarily on youtube.com forward slash blurred without fear. Uh, I post videos talking about the comic books and the stuff and things. Uh, and I live stream every Saturday at, uh, I believe it is 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific. Excellent. And yeah. Thank you talk very shit much. And talk comics and movies and stuff. Uh, for our Balra, who had to run a little early, at simply JXN, simply Jackson on Twitter, and simply underscore JXN on Twitch. She has returned to streaming somewhat regularly, and you should go watch her because she's a sweet bean and very, very cool. Playing Drissay, Parallax Stella, where can we find you on the internet? Uh, when I'm not slapping people here, I am on Twitch almost daily at twitch.tv slash parallaxstella. Uh, you can also catch me on Twitter um, actually slapping uh, dumb gamer dumb bitch idiots. boys. Dumb idiots, yeah. Uh, yeah, for having shit takes on things. It's a good and show. It's really good show. It's, it's, it's very show. fun. Oh, I have so much fun. But yeah, you can catch me on there. And uh, the only thing that's different about my handle is Instagram, which is the real Parallax Stella because someone's sitting on my handle. But yeah. It's always good. Playing Thaddeus McCormick. <laughs> Phenomenon. Where can we find Hi. you at on the internet? You can find me on Twitch. I stream five days a week, Thursday through Sunday. If you like late night comfy content, I primarily stream retro games and RPGs, but the game is usually the backdrop, the continuing conversation, and the community is the focus. Oh my. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Sorry, that was... What the... <laughs> Y'all saw that, right? Uh, cat, cat? Oh, oh, it's oh like, my god! I missed that. <laughs> oh my god! Finn's streams Sorry. are so good. It's it's oh. like drinking hot chocolate, mm. but watching a Twitch stream mm. and making him blush. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can do that too. <laughs> Thank you very much, Finn. Uh, hi, I'm Joel Runaway Robots, my channel. So you probably already know that we do a bunch of Dungeons and Dragons content on this channel. Way too much at this point, but you know what? It's okay. This Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, we have Ruin Crimson, which is our next D&D &D show here. And then currently on Mondays, except for the one on the 13th, we have Strixhaven, which has been a whole lot of fun. And it is the new release from Wizards of the Coast, and we've gotten an early look at it. So it's been pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Tomorrow, I'll be doing the entire Halo Reach campaign because I've been going through all the Halo games. And it's been an interesting ride, and Halo Reach is my favorite one. So if you want to see me live the nostalgia all over again, that's what I'm doing. Thanks for being here tonight. Thank you for all the support. I super duper appreciate it. If you want to catch up with any of the other content, you can head on over to youtube.com slash runawayrobot and see all of the other shows. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>